Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Global Upgrade. I awakened millions of attribute points. Chapter 31 Evening The weather was slightly cool, so Zhou Jun made a simple stir-fry in the kitchen when he returned home. Living alone for these years has allowed him to develop good cooking skills, and he can cook whatever he wants on weekdays. For example, the garlic crab legs I made today are not only delicious, but also nutritious. It can meet the nutritional needs of novice sky warriors to a great extent. With two big crab legs on his belly, Zhou Jun immediately felt that the energy exhausted by using the awakening technique had recovered a lot. The whole person is not that weak anymore. After he moved his body a little, he sat cross-legged on the sofa and took out the two skill books dropped by the hidden boss. These two sword skill books are of high quality. Especially the mythical Blade of Atonement, if you use its ability to sublimate it, it will definitely reach the epic level. Even the legendary immortal skill book is not impossible. Whether a bicycle can be transformed into a motorcycle depends on this effort. Zhou Jun took a deep breath, and after repeatedly weighing the two skill books, he decided to leave the suspense behind. Sublimate that skill book of excellent quality first. Name, Chapter of the Raging Sword. Grade, Excellent. Type, Sword Skill Book. Effect, When equipped with a sword weapon, gain 5% critical hit. Cooling, None. As a passive skill that can increase critical strikes, Zhou Jun quite likes it. He was looking forward to what it would become after sublimation. At this moment, as the mental command is issued, the familiar mysterious power emerges from the body and condenses on the Chapter of the Raging Sword. In the next moment, the appearance of the originally brand new book became more gorgeous and noble. After opening it, the ordinary paper turned into soft sheepskin at this moment. Congratulations! Chapter of the Raging Sword is advanced to Keeping the Sword with a Mind. Name Holding the Sword and Mind Ming. Grade Epic. Type Sword Skill Book. Effect When equipped with sword weapons, you will gain 30% critical hit and 10% critical damage. Cooling None. Zhou Jun held this luxurious parchment book in his hand. After reading it, his face could not help but be covered with a strong joy, and he even ignored the waves of weakness in his body. He didn't expect that he would be so lucky to be sublimated for the first time tonight, and he would get an epic skill book directly. Hold the sword with a clear mind. Like its predecessor, Chapter of the Raging Sword, it is a passive skill. But the effects vary wildly. Chapter of the Raging Sword only provides 5% critical hit, while Sword Holding Mind not only has 30% critical hit, but even 10% critical damage. These two attributes are rare, and the bonuses are so high. It is no exaggeration to say that if this skill book was put on the black market, level 100 experts would rush for it. You can imagine how valuable it is. The smile on Zhou Jun's face could hardly be concealed. After just sublimating an excellent skill book, the benefits are so huge. This gave him great expectations for the next atonement blade that would sublimate the mythical quality. Just when he was about to continue to ascend, a strong feeling of weakness suddenly surged into his heart. Even his mind was in a trance, and Zhou Jun realized that his body couldn't bear it anymore. Hiss, these side effects. Zhou Jun sighed. He had been promoted too many times today and all his energy had been exhausted. By the way, I seem to still have some secret medicine with me. And just when Zhou Jun was worried, he suddenly seemed to think of something. When he turned his hand, there were a bunch of bottles and cans in front of him. These were the secret medicines given to him by the middle-aged man named Shu as an apology. Zhou Jun wants to see if there is any recovery type among them. After all, Secret medicines are similar to blood bottles in online games. Most of them can restore their own state, but only a few have special effects. After searching for a while, Zhou Jun found several bottles of blood medicine. It's called Pure Blood Coagulation Solution, it's silver quality, and it can restore 20% of your own status after taking it. Zhou Jun showed off five bottles in a row without saying a word. The whole person suddenly became energetic, and all the fatigue disappeared without a trace. Good stuff, it seems like I'll have to keep some secret recovery medicine in hand in the future. Zhou Jun's face lit up, feeling that he had found a way to combat the side effects of infinite sublimation. Then, he took out the atonement blade with confidence and began to sublimate. 
Boom. The mysterious power of sublimation in his body was boiling, and Zhou Jun's newly recovered mind was dizzy again. But he didn't pay much attention to it, but quickly picked up another bottle of blood purifying liquid and popped it into his mouth, and the discomfort was immediately offset. At the same time, the skill book in his hand changed drastically. Its appearance was no longer so luxurious and exaggerated, and the paper was no longer sheepskin. Instead, it turned into a thin golden page. Although the gold page is thin, its breadth is simple and thick, as if it records everything in the world and can easily overwhelm the world. Zhou Jun's eyes were sharp. He had never seen such a strange skill book. As thoughts surged, the information on the ancient gold page unfolded before his eyes. Name, Rhapsody of Conviction. Grade, Immortal. Type, Sword Skill Book. Effect 1, Transformed from a Mythical Skill, Name the Blade of Jiri, it can cut off all evil in the world. After being released, it can trigger multiple attacks, namely, the Point of Lust, the Sting of Gluttony, the Pick of Greed, the Belt of Laziness, the Collapse of Rage, the Tease of Jealousy, and the Draw of Pride. Effect 2, the Seven Sword Moves can be used individually or in combination. During the release period, the damage increases by 200%, and the Seven Sword Moves are immune to damage by 50%. Cooling, 1200S. When the contents of the golden page were revealed, Zhou Jun's breathing slowed down. Immortal. It turns out to be an immortal level skill. Although Zhou Jun was well prepared, when he actually saw this scene, he was still filled with uncontrollable excitement. Immortal level, that is the quality that reaches the pinnacle of the world. Any immortal level existence can only be encountered, and it is a huge opportunity. This is especially true for immortal skills. After all, whether a Sky Defender is powerful or not, skills account for a large part of the factor. Take Zhou Jun as an example. When he had no skills in the Secret Realm, it was very difficult to kill high-level monsters. But just after possessing the gold level, bone broken, the whole person instantly felt a lot more relaxed. This shows how much the combat power will be improved if this immortal skill is learned. Rhapsody of Conviction After calming down, Zhou Jun looked at the skill description carefully. After a moment, he took a breath and was deeply surprised by the skill mechanism. This Rhapsody of Conviction has seven forms in total. Perhaps because its original form, Atonement Blade, was produced from a stone statue, these seven moves all incorporate the characteristics of the seven deadly sins and are named after them. Pointing, thrusting, picking, leading, collapsing, teasing, and drawing are all traditional sword moves. When combined together, they form unique little skills. These small skills have various different functions in the performance of swordsmanship, and can be said to be both offensive and defensive. And it is obvious that small skills do not need to be cooled down and can be used only by physical strength. When combined together, they will become truly immortal skills, exerting unimaginable power. Let's not mention the 200% damage increase for the moment, but the 50% damage immunity alone. If you master the timing of use, you can save your life at critical moments. Zhou Jun murmured in a low voice. Apparently, what really attracted him was the part about immunity to damage. After all, half of the injuries are avoided, which is really incredible. This can work wonders in many difficult dungeons, and even play a decisive role in reversing the situation of the battle. There are many small skills, strong big skills, it can be used both offensively and defensively, and it does good damage. It is truly an immortal level swordsmanship. Zhou Jun sighed, the value of this golden page is really immeasurable. Without hesitation, he directly chose to study all two skill books in his hand. An epic passive and an immortal active. Studying one after another at this moment caused Zhou Jun's brain to feel a little swollen and painful for a while. The endless artistic conception of swordsmanship was instilled in his body. It had only been 10 minutes, but it felt like he had been immersed in the field of swordsmanship for a lifetime. When Zhou Jun opened his eyes again, there was sword light condensed in his pupils, and his whole temperament rose to the extreme. Like a soaring divine sword. Acquired the skill, Rhapsody of Conviction LV 1 inch. You have understood the true meaning of swords, and your sword and weapon proficiency has reached LV 1. Two prompts appeared in front of me. Zhou Jun was stunned for a moment, and then surprise appeared on his face again. In this world, when the cultivation of any weapon reaches a certain level, the power of artistic conception will be felt, thereby unlocking the proficiency system. 
Don't underestimate this proficiency, it accounts for a large proportion of the strength of the strong human race. Simply put, the higher the proficiency level, the stronger the combat effectiveness that can be exerted. For two Sky Slayers of the same level, without considering their own awakening talents, high weapon proficiency meets low weapon proficiency, which is a dimensionality reduction strike. If you want to understand the true meaning and unlock proficiency, you rely on opportunities and the stacking of skill books. The former is hard to come by. The latter requires a lot of financial resources. After all, if you don't have enough money to support it, you can't get enough skill books. Among these, high-quality skill books provide the greatest help. All in all, the weapon proficiency system is not something ordinary people can covet. Ordinary people cannot unlock the proficiency of a weapon in their lifetime. That's what Joe Jun is like. He lived to level 54 in his last life and learned a lot of skills, large and small, but he couldn't even unlock the proficiency of a single weapon. Now that he was reborn, on the second day, he realized the true meaning of the most difficult to touch sword in the legend. And unlocked sword proficiency in one go. It can only be said that immortal skills are indeed powerful. The effect of learning this skill book is better than others learning dozens of books. It seems that in this life, I will take the path of a swordsman. Zhou Jun sighed. On Blue Star, because of the existence of skill books, there are many martial arts schools. Swords, guns and clubs are all factions with deep roots and long history. Many people will choose a weapon they like as their future development route. Now above the starry sky, there is a god king with full proficiency in spear and stick, using a black dragon spear to guard the Mars camp alone. Under his sky-shattering gun will, no dark creature has been able to break through the Martian defense line in many years. This shows how terrifying it is to have full weapon proficiency. Zhou Jun had previously thought about which weapon style he would pursue in the future, but in the end he decided to just let it go. After all, it's not up to him to decide what type of skill book can be revealed by killing monsters. It's not bad to understand the artistic conception of swords now. It is difficult to increase proficiency with swords, but after mastering it, its power is not weaker than that of guns and sticks. Among all weapons, it is among the best. One sword suppresses evil and one sword kills evil. That's not bad. Zhou Jun raised his head and thought about it, and after a while he took out five pieces of equipment from his backpack. These five pieces of equipment are all harvested from the secret realm. Four of them are equally divided rewards when quelling the beast tide, and one is a mythical ring of your choice after clearing the level. Zhou Jun's eyes passed over the pieces of equipment, and finally stopped at the ring. The equipment exploded by the ordinary monsters in front were of the highest quality and were only silver. Even after being sublimated, it is at best like gold and excellence. And Zhou Jun has a mythical universal set rewarded by the Federation, where else can he see these? It would be a waste of your energy to sublimate them. So now there are only rings of the same mythical level that can arouse Zhou Jun's interest a little bit. The basic attributes of this ring are very average, and Zhou Jun doesn't know what it will look like after sublimation. At this moment, with the mentality of giving it a try, I drank the secret recovery medicine and used my natural ability. Brush, the turbulent power of sublimation surged out, and the ancient ring became radiant at this moment. After a few breaths, everything calmed down, and a jet black crystal ring appeared in Zhou Jun's hand. Congratulations, the siren's ring has been upgraded to the ring of endless life. Name the ring of eternal life. Grade epic. Type jewelry. Restrictions LV10 LV25. Physique plus 236. Agility plus 161. Explanation An epic equipment sublimated from the siren ring. It has the characteristics of endless life. The wearer recovers 1% of all attributes every minute. The effect increases to 3% after entering combat state. After reading the equipment description, Zhou Jun's eyes suddenly lit up. The attributes of this piece of equipment are surprisingly good. It is an extremely rare piece of equipment that can restore its own state. His basic four-dimensional attributes are very high. After entering the combat state, even if the recovery rate is only 3%, the actual effect is quite considerable. Sure enough, there is no weak epic equipment, even if it is a small epic that can only be used to more than 20 levels. Without hesitation, I put the ring on my hand directly. Now Zhou Jun is quite large in terms of equipment. 
There are weapons and accessories, and except for the mythical set of suits awarded by the Federation that I haven't received yet, everything else is luxurious. With a thought, a brand new personal panel appeared in front of my eyes. Name, Zhou Jun, level LV10, 98%. Strength 5200 plus 47. Agility 5200 plus 258. Spirit 5200 plus 102. Physique 5200 plus 236. Skills Broken Bone LV1, Sword Holding Mind LV1, Rhapsody of Sins LV1. Equipment Falling Star Epic, Extreme Blade, Thunder Tribulation Myth Ring of Endless Life Epic. Talent SSS Level Redistribution. SSS level unlimited sublimation only. Awakening skill ultimate sublimation LV1. Weapon proficiency sword LV1. Looking at his panel, which was beginning to take on the aura of genius, Zhou Jun nodded with satisfaction. Yesterday, he was still a nameless person who had returned from rebirth and had just awakened. Today, his reputation has been vaguely spread among the top leaders of the Federation, and his level is only one step away from reaching LV11. All these things had to make Zhou Jun extremely emotional. Tomorrow, make a record of the 10th level federal attribute, collect the rewards in the red card, and then go to the dungeon outside the city to hunt monsters. Before going to bed that night, Zhou Jun closed his eyes and made plans for the next day, then fell into a deep sleep. Comma, the next day, even though he didn't have to go to school, Zhou Jun still got up very early. As usual, he went downstairs for a few jogs and solved the breakfast problem at the breakfast shop. Then he set off to the main street of Linyuan City. Just because the Flying Dragon Tower, with the most federally registered properties was built here. Phylong Tower is established in various cities and is an institution specially used to deal with the political affairs of the Sky Defender. Its importance is self-evident. It is rumored that every owner of Phylong Tower is a hundred-level strong man who can walk in the air, tear the void with his hands, and has the power to guard a city. As for the owner of Phylong Tower who was in charge of Linyuan City, he was very aloof and very mysterious. Ordinary people could not see him at all. Even the heads of wealthy families in the city, the first-class dignitaries, have to make an appointment if they want to meet. However, these matters have little to do with Zhou Jun. He came here this time just to register the top 10 attributes and get the reward. Linyuan City is not a huge city in Blue Star, but it still has 70 million permanent residents. With such a terrifying population base, one can imagine how many people have awakened to become Sky Defenders. As for the Phylong Tower, which handles all government affairs of the Sky Defender, there is only one in Linyuan City. This resulted in the building being almost never idle. Even though it was early in the morning, there were still people coming and going in the lobby on the first floor. Every counter is crowded with people. Sometimes if you want to do some business, you even have to queue up a day in advance. At this time, these people who have worked hard to queue up will always look at the innermost side of the first floor with envy. There was a row of empty counters there, but there were only a few people handling business at the counters. Because it is a VIP area, only the children of wealthy families who have made outstanding contributions to Linyuan City can set foot there. In other words, it is an exclusive passage for the powerful. And at this moment, under the envious gazes of many people, two young people were sitting and chatting calmly in the spacious VIP area. They were a man and a woman. Let alone the man, the woman was extremely eye-catching. She was wearing a white dress. She was as slender as a model, and her appearance was extremely beautiful. However, her expression was filled with aloofness that would keep strangers away from her, and the arrogance that only a noble lady possesses. There is a hint of contempt in the eyes he looks at everyone. It was only when I glanced at the male companion next to me who had the same good temperament that I felt a little more level-headed. Miss Morong, Director Xiao here and I are old acquaintances. Don't worry, today's matter will definitely be accomplished. At this time, the man with good temperament spoke out with a smile on his face, his tone was soft and somewhat flattering. Thank you very much, Mr. Zhou. The cold woman smiled on her lips and nodded towards the young man. After hearing this, the young man shook his head and smiled. Ms. Morong, please don't bully me. I, Zhou Tong, only play a small role in the Zhou family. The only person in the Zhou family who can truly bear the title of young master Zhou is brother Wang. 
The young man, that is, Zhou Tong, although he said this, his expression was not humble at all. Just because of his identity, he is a direct descendant of the Zhou family. Although he is not as noble as Zhou Wang, who is the young master, he is still the leading figure compared with the thousands of other powerful children in the city. In the second generation circle of Linyuan City, he can be said to be the master of all things. Today, I was invited to come forward to help the second young lady of the Morong family come to Phylong Tower to resolve a long-delayed official matter. How is Zhou Wang doing lately? Hearing the other party mention Zhou Wang, the cold girl's eyes brightened a little and she asked with some concern. Seeing this scene, Zhou Tong, who was originally eager, felt inexplicably sad, but in the end he answered truthfully, Brother Wang is already level 18. He went to Tianxiang City with the clan leader today and may not come back before the college entrance examination. The cold girl said oh, her expression a little silent. Seeing the other party's absent-minded look, Zhou Tong changed the subject and said, but last night, Brother Wang told me something very interesting. I think you will be interested too. Hearing this, the cold girl raised her pretty eyebrows and motioned for him to continue. Then Zhou Tong chuckled, did you know? The abandoned young man of my Zhou family, the eldest son Zhou Jun, registered his awakening information at number 5 middle school yesterday, and it turned out to be only D level. Do you think it's ridiculous? It seems that the young master's decision to drive him out of the Zhou family was right. If this waste continues to stay in the Zhou family, it will only become a shame for my Zhou family in Linyuan City. When it came to the latter part, Zhou Tong's face was full of sarcasm, and he sneered again and again. Opposite him, the cold girl was stunned after hearing these words. Then the delicate face became extremely complicated. Brother Jun. No, Mr. Zhou. He became a loser after all. It seems I made the right decision to leave him. Morong Shui tightened her grip on the corners of her clothes, and the dusty past between her brows came to mind. In the early years, the Zhou family and the Morong family were very close, and the younger generations of the two families often played with each other. Zhou Jun was precocious and shrouded in the halo of his father, Zhou Shanrong, a peerless genius, so he was already the leader of the two children at a young age. Wherever he went, stars cheered him, and even Zhou Wang was just his follower, obeying his cousin's words. Unsurprisingly, Zhou Jun's youthful spirit attracted the admiration and following of a large number of children from both families. Morong Shui is one of them. At that time, she felt that Zhou Jun was the most shining person in the world. At that time, her dream was to wait until she grew up so that she could marry Zhou Jun's brother. It was not until the Zhou Shanrong incident happened and Zhou Jun was unable to move around in the Zhou family that these children discovered that the dazzling Zhou Jun was just an ordinary person when he lost many of his auras. After Morong Shui learned that Zhou Jun had been kicked out of the Zhou family, she didn't know how to face it, so she chose to avoid it. So many years passed in a flash. I learned about Zhou Jun again, but it turned out that the other party had only awakened the scandal of D-level talent. You know, in this world where talent determines the future, D-level talent has no way out at all. This also means that Zhou Jun will completely lose the qualification to return to the Zhou family. Morong Shui felt relieved for some reason. It was a breath of relief, as if the guilt of deliberately staying away from Zhou Jun all these years had disappeared. Because she and Zhou Jun were completely in two different worlds. Thinking of this, Morong Shui's face returned to its former coldness. Ha, huh, that person looks like Mr. Zhou. I really mean Cao Cao, Cao Cao is here. Just when Morong Shui felt relieved, Zhou Tong suddenly pointed at the door of Phylong Tower and shouted in surprise. This sentence immediately attracted Morong Shui's attention, and she subconsciously looked up. Sure enough, I saw a familiar young man walking into the hall at the door of Phylong Tower. Morong Shui stared blankly, but disappointment flashed in her eyes. Because the Zhou Jun in front of him looks taciturn, wearing only an ordinary white sportswear, and there is no trace of the arrogance and sharpness in his eyes that a young man of power should have. He is so ordinary that he seems to be thrown into the street and never seen again. Can't find it. Where is there any trace of the spirit of being the young master of the Zhou family? Perhaps because she saw Zhou Jun's downfall, with her own eyes, Morong Shui's expression gradually became dull and she was completely relieved. His eyes regained their cool look. However, Zhou Jun's next action attracted her attention again. 
I saw that the other party was walking straight towards the VIP area. What is this doing? Doesn't he know that the VIP area does not accept civilians? This kid really doesn't know where the world is. He even dares to break into the VIP area, and he still thinks he is the eldest young master of the Zhou family. Zhou Tong even sneered unabashedly, looking like he was watching a show. At the same time, Zhou Jun has already reached the VIP area. Compared with the crowd in the hall, the VIP area was very empty, with not many people in total, so Zhou Jun noticed Zhou Tong and Morong Shui when he just approached. His eyes paused slightly on Morong Shui. Then he moved away indifferently. Zhou Jun, who was a young boy in his last life, had also been tempted by Morong Shui. After all, the other party has beautiful appearance and outstanding temperament. She is a famous beauty even among the powerful circles of Linyuan City, and she is willing to be her little crush. How many young people can not secretly have feelings for someone like this? At that time, he had foolishly thought that one day in the future, the two of them would naturally come together. But it was not until a few years later, with his loss of power and Morong Shui's deliberate alienation, that Zhou Jun came to his senses. It turned out that this sweet and well-behaved girl who only appeared in front of him had never liked him as a person, but as the young master of the Zhou family. Otherwise, the news that he and Zhou Wang would stay together would not have spread not long after the college entrance examination. At that time, Zhou Jun felt sad for a long time. But now that he was reborn and saw Morong Shui again, Zhou Jun could only remember the past as a passing smoke. In this life, his only goal is to continue to become stronger and become the supreme human race step by step. Everything else is vain. Not to mention Morong Shui, even the Zhou family and even the entire Linyuan city were not worth mentioning in his eyes. Above the stars is his goal. So when he met Morong Shui and Zhou Tong again, Zhou Jun's mentality remained unchanged and he didn't even want to get entangled with them. He just wanted to take care of his own affairs. Even when he stepped into the VIP area, it was just to speed up the efficiency of work. It is true that Lord Zhou is no longer a nobleman. But don't forget, he also has a red card with him that is a federal reward that can be exchanged for mythical equipment. The gold content of this red card is far more noble than the status of a powerful person in a city. Sir, stop here. This is a VIP area. Please show your identification. Just as Zhou Jun stepped into the VIP area, a staff member stepped forward and stopped him. Zhou Tong, who saw this scene not far away, had an increasingly mocking look on his face. He used to be one of Zhou Jun's followers, but now he has become Zhou Wang's biggest supporter. Zhou Wang knew very well how hostile he was towards Zhou Jun, so he was naturally happy to see Zhou Jun frustrated at this moment. He even thought that sneering twice was not enough, so he stood up and walked closer. Morong Shui sighed secretly when she saw this, and also walked over. What happened? As soon as Zhou Tong approached, he acted like a young man and asked knowingly. When the staff member saw it was Zhou Tong, he immediately lowered his head and replied humbly, Mr. Tong. This man wants to enter the VIP area, and I am checking his ID. Ha ha, then you have to check carefully. This person's name is Zhou Jun. He used to be a descendant of my Zhou family, but now he is just an abandoned son who was expelled from the family. He has long lost his noble status. Now that he appears here, I have to wonder if he wants to pretend to be a noble disciple and cheat. Zhou Tong spoke out the words he had prepared long ago, his face full of amusement, and he looked at Zhou Jun with a mocking look on his lips. After hearing this, the staff member's expression immediately became serious, and his eyes towards Zhou Jun couldn't help but become a little more indifferent and wary. Sir, please show your proof of noble status, otherwise I will call the guards. As soon as these words came out, the atmosphere in the scene suddenly became tense. Even across the hall, many people were looking curiously. Zhou Jun, who had originally planned to take out the red card, could not help but frown when he saw this scene. A pair of eyes looked coldly at Zhou Tong, the instigator. Obviously he didn't expect that he would ignore Zhou Tong, but Zhou Tong dared to take the initiative to cause trouble for him. If he remembered correctly, in his previous life, Zhou Tong only awakened A-level talents. And because of his playful nature, he never reached level 10 until the end of the college entrance examination. In other words, with Zhou Jun's current strength, it would be easy to kill Zhou Tong. 
If it weren't for the prohibition of martial arts in Linyuan City, Zhou Tong would probably be lying on the ground talking to him now. Thinking of this, Zhou Jun didn't save any face for the other party and said coldly, Zhou Tong. Even Zhou Wang has to lower his head to talk to me here. Where did you get the courage? Have you forgotten how I beat you when you were a child? Zhou Jun was not exaggerating. He used to be the king of children. No matter whose family's powerful children in Linyuan City, he would beat them directly if he didn't like them. Not to mention Zhou Tong, even Zhou Wang was slapped by Zhou Jun. But when he heard these words at this moment, the past events came to mind uncontrollably, making Zhou Tong furious with embarrassment, and he shouted loudly. How presumptuous, Mr. Zhou, do you still think that you are the eldest son of the Zhou family? At best, you are an abandoned son, at worst, you are a loser. How dare you arrange for me and other powerful children here? As soon as these words came out, even the crowd watching nearby screamed in surprise. The staff member also became gloomy and said again, Sir, please don't be so messy. Phylong Tower is not a place for you to act wild. There was obviously a hint of threat in his words. But the person who started the trouble in the first place was obviously Zhou Tong. But he turned a blind eye to Zhou Tong's actions. It was obvious that the two were of the same species. After Zhou Jun thought about all this, his eyes became completely indifferent. He knew it was useless to talk more at this moment, so he said directly, whether I am qualified to stand here will be clear to you when you are in charge. After all, the staff member in front of me is just a small role. His words are not as effective as those in power. Are we in charge? The staff member was startled when he heard this. Seeing Zhou Jun's confident look, he hesitated for a moment and was a little unsure. Could it be that he was mistaken and that the other party really had another identity? Otherwise, how could you dare to call the Phylong Tower steward to come forward? Jun Zhou, the more you live, the more confused you become. Without looking at your own identity, you dare to ask Manager Xiao from Phylong Tower to come forward. How can such a high-ranking person know you, a waste with a D-level talent? However, before he could think clearly, Zhou Tong next to him burst out laughing, his words full of sarcasm. Even Morong Shui, who had been watching from the sidelines, had a strong expression of disappointment on his face. In her eyes, the current Zhou Jun is no different from those scoundrels who have obviously failed, but still only talk harshly and refuse to accept the reality. Bai Yugong, the brother Zhou Jun whom she admired back then, died in her memory after all. The person standing in front of her now is just a shameless person who talks nonsense. At this thought, Morong Shui couldn't help but feel a little more contempt in her disappointed eyes. When looking at Zhou Jun, it is no different from looking at other living beings. But under the gaze of many different eyes, Zhou Jun remained calm. He stood with his hands behind his hands, looking arrogant, and said as if stating the facts. Why do I need to know Director Xiao? When he comes out to see me, he will be respectful in front of me and treat me as a guest. Zhou Jun's voice was as calm as water, but it made everyone who heard it stir up waves in their hearts. Who is this young man? How dare he say such arrogant words? There are 33 floors in Phylong Tower, and each floor has one supervisor. I remember that Manager Xiao, who is in charge of the business on the first floor, is a level 47 strong man. He is unruly and has never looked down upon civilians like us. That's right, Manager Xiao only interacts with noble children on weekdays. Is this young man crazy and dares to offend him like this? Maybe he has another identity and is backed by a big shot. In the hall, there were many people talking with their heads in the air, looking at Zhou Jun with surprise in their eyes. At this moment, Zhou Jun, although wearing cheap sportswear, his temperament is like an unsheathed sword. There is also a kind of self-confidence that comes from within, which is shocking. One can't help but speculate whether this young man really has the trump card to challenge the manager of Phylong Tower. And his performance completely shocked the staff member, who was in a dilemma for a while. Even Morong Shui, who was extremely disappointed with Zhou Jun, looked dazed for a moment. She felt like she was seeing the high-spirited young master of the Zhou family again from many years ago. Could it be that Mr. Zhou, didn't exaggerate on purpose? But do you really have something to rely on? Morong Shui's eyes flashed, and she suddenly felt a little funny. She actually had a sense of expectation for Zhou Jun at this moment. 
Among the people present, only Zhou Tong always looked gloomy and had a sneer on his face. He is Zhou Wang's confidant and knows many unknown secrets. He was even involved in the incident of hiding the star falling stone in Zhou Jun's residence. Therefore, he was very sure that Zhou Jun's talent was only D level. In the eyes of the upper class, these talents are no different than ants on the roadside. It is impossible to get the appreciation of any big shot. So he firmly believed that Mr. Zhou at this moment was just bluffing. Wait until Director Xiao comes forward and see how you end it. Zhou Tong took in the audience's comments about this matter and became more and more mocking in his heart. He put his hands in his pockets and looked like he was watching a show. And in full view of everyone, the staff member was having cold sweat rolling down his forehead. He didn't have detailed information like Zhou Tong, so he couldn't be sure whether the young man in front of him really had something to rely on. After all, his fearless self-confidence was too strong. For a moment, I was riding a tiger and couldn't get off, and I didn't know how to end it. HMPH, I want to see who doesn't take me, Xiao Shengyan, seriously. Just when the atmosphere was extremely tense, a cold voice came from afar. Everyone looked in search of the sound, and the next moment the crowd dispersed like a tide. I saw a fat middle-aged man walking towards the end of the crowd. He was in his early forties, and although his body shape was a little out of shape, his expression was very fierce, and his eyebrows were eagle-eyed. When he looked around, everyone quickly lowered their heads, not daring to look at him. The person who came was none other than the manager Xiao that Zhou Tong mentioned. With the sound of leather shoes stepping on the ground, Xiao Shengyan walked to the VIP area with slow steps. Master Steward, before he could stand still, the previous staff member trotted towards him with a look of extreme fear. Snapped, however, when faced with the greetings from his subordinates, Xiao Shengyan didn't even look at him and slapped him with his backhand. You're a blind thing, who can scare you? Will my Phylong Tower open VIP access to any cat or dog that comes here from now on? He spoke with a long drawl, and struck very hard, slapping the right side of the staff member's face until it became swollen. But the latter didn't dare to say a word. He could only keep nodding and bowing, and stood honestly behind Xiao Shengyan. After doing all this, Xiao Shengyan looked at Zhou Tong again. The arrogant expression that had always been there finally softened, and she showed a bit of kindness and smiled at him. Young Master Tong, you're fine. Don't worry, I will definitely help you handle Miss Morong's matter today. When Zhou Tong heard this, he put his hands behind his hands and smiled, looking like a young man from a famous family, and replied, Thank you so much, Manager Xiao. The two then exchanged some pleasantries, and then Xiao Shengnian finally looked at Zhou Jun. His expression returned to that condescending attitude, and there was also a deep contempt. He spoke with an extremely cold voice, It's you who just made such nonsense here, saying that I will treat you with respect when I see you. Now that I'm standing here, I'm very curious. How can you, a lowly untouchable, dare to let me, Xiao Shengnian, treat you like a distinguished guest? Xiao Shengnian's eyes were fierce, and Ling Ren's aura suddenly came forward, wanting to see the sincerity and fear on Zhou Jun's face after the lie was exposed. Unfortunately he was destined to be disappointed. Because the young man in front of him remained calm from beginning to end, with his hands behind his back, he was not even the slightest bit shocked when he saw him die in person. Are you the manager here? If you don't give Zhou an explanation for today's incident, you will not be able to take on this manager. Even under the spotlight and in front of Director Xiao, Zhou Jun still said something shocking. As soon as these words came out, the scene became a little quiet. The raised corners of Xiao Shengnian's mouth were completely restrained, and his face was filled with gloom. How long has it been and you still dare to talk nonsense? I really think you can't die soon enough. Zhou Tong sneered and looked at Zhou Jun as if he was watching a joke. Morong Shui who was originally looking forward to Zhou Jun's performance, also shook her head in disappointment at this time. Now that we have become a loser, why not just stay humble and be a petty person? Do you still naively think that you can change everything by just saying a few big words here? Morong Shui sighed, completely giving up. She turned her head and stopped looking at Zhou Jun, because at this time, Xiao Shengnian was on the verge of rage, and a conflict whose outcome could be predicted in advance was about to break out. The surrounding onlookers also shook their heads. 
Anyone who often comes to Phylong Tower doesn't know the temper of Manager Xiao. If you offend him, don't expect to get any good fruit. Only Zhou Jun, after calmly glancing at the other party, still disagreed. Because in his hand, a red card quietly appeared. Brother Xiao Zhou, why are you here? Just when Zhou Jun was about to make a move, a surprised voice suddenly came, interrupting everyone's attention. Everyone stared at the past. At the entrance of Phylong Tower, a middle-aged man walked quickly with a surprise on his face. He looked like the middle-aged man named Shu who registered his talent and number. Five middle school yesterday. In fact, as a talented registrar who can report directly to the top federal officials, the middle-aged man named Shu already has a high status in Linyuan City. He even served as a deacon in Phylong Tower. You know, Phylong Tower has 33 floors, and each floor has a supervisor. But there are only three deacons in the entire Phylong Tower. They have great power in Phylong Tower and are top bosses at all levels of management. Each of them has deep connections in Linyuan City and usually talks directly with the heads of major families and principals of universities. But at this moment, as the middle-aged man named Xu hurriedly walked over, eager greetings came from his mouth. Brother Xiao Zhou, you came to Phylong Tower for business, why didn't you say hello to me in advance? No matter what the business is, as long as you give the order, I will do my best to get it done for you. The middle-aged man laughed, his tone so enthusiastic that it was almost flattering. This made everyone look shocked. And after Xiao Shengnian appeared as a middle-aged man named Xu, his expression changed drastically. Xu Yuan, Deacon Xu, why are you here? Aren't you going to inspect every high school for three days? He asked anxiously, and his anxious look was not at all as aloof as before. Because of his keen mind, he had already noticed the middle-aged man named Xu's attitude towards Zhou Jun. How humble that is, the dignified deacon of Phylong Tower, at this moment, took the initiative to greet him like a licking dog. Who is this young man? No wonder he had the confidence to say that he would be respectful. Xiao Shengnian felt bitter in his heart, always feeling that things were going to be serious today. Everyone around was also talking about it at this time. They are just ordinary people and don't know big shots like the middle-aged man named Xu. But it can also be seen how frightened the normally showy manager Xiao was after the middle-aged man surnamed Xu appeared. In addition, the attitude of the middle-aged man named Xu is also worth pondering. Such a big shot, after entering Phylong Tower, ignored Xiao Shengnian, who was in charge. Instead, the first person he greeted was Zhou Jun, a young man. How similar is this situation to when Xiao Shengnian first appeared on the scene? It's just that one attaches great importance to Zhou Jun, and the other despises him extremely. But when Xu Yuan heard Xiao Shengnian's words, he finally saw the situation clearly and couldn't help but frown. Xiao Shengnian, apologize. The middle-aged man surnamed Xu was a sophisticated man. He just glanced at the scene and guessed what had just happened. He didn't even bother to ask why, and just gave the order. Deacon Xu, it was me just now. Xiao Shengnian's expression changed, and he wanted to struggle to defend himself. As a result, Xu Yuan glanced over with an indifferent look and said angrily, You are a blind thing. What kind of person is Brother Xiao Zhou that you can humiliate? I'm telling you clearly today, if you are dissatisfied and don't want to apologize, you can replace the manager on the first floor. Xu Yuan's voice was cold, and he was indeed very angry. After all, no one understands better than him how noble Zhou Jun's status is. That is an SSS level talent that is rare in the world. He is also a ruthless person who can reach level 10 in one breath after entering the secret realm for the first time. In addition, he has also entered the eyes of federal high-level officials and been included in the candidate list for the accurate sequence. Such an unparalleled genius has great hope of becoming a 100-level powerhouse or a 500-level god king in the future. He has no time to even make friends, but this little steward in front of him still dares to offend others with his words and use his power to bully others. How could Xu Yuan not be angry? Even as he spoke, the level information up to LV60 above his head lit up directly. It was clear that Tai Shen wanted to make a resolution to what happened today. At this moment, Xiao Shengnian was completely dumbfounded by the situation before him. Obviously, he didn't expect that Xu Yuan would do this for the inconspicuous Zhou Jun in front of him. 
he didn't understand, and his heart was full of resentment, but he didn't dare to show it at all. He could only grit his teeth and lower his head, and bowed respectfully to Lord Joe. Joe, Mr. Joe, it's me who looks down on others, I deserve to die. A slightly trembling voice came out. At this moment, Xiao Shengnian was extremely humble. He was completely different from the domineering look he had when he first appeared. At this time, Zhou Zhan was watching all this with his hands behind his back. He really didn't expect to meet acquaintances in Phylong Tower. Unexpectedly, the middle-aged man named Xu Yuan did not brag in the principal's office yesterday. He did have a certain amount of energy in Linyuan City and was willing to stand up for him. Although he knew in his heart that the other party would help him, it was not because he wanted to help him when the road was rough, but because he simply valued his talent. Of course, there's nothing wrong with this. After all, in the world of heaven defenders, geniuses should enjoy privileges. Brother Xiao Zhou, what do you think of the result? Xu Yuan turned to look at him and asked with a smile. When Zhou Jun heard this, he just thanked him lightly, but his eyes never stopped at manager Xiao who bowed to him from beginning to end. In his opinion, whether it was Zhou Tong or manager Xiao who suddenly appeared, they were of no importance in his eyes. He still just wanted to do his own thing well, finish all the business that needed to be done, and then go to level up outside the city. Seemingly noticing Zhou Jun's reaction, Xu Yuan understood and immediately said, Brother Xiao Zhou, if you don't mind, I will personally handle your business today. I guarantee that this situation will never happen again. Then I'll trouble you. Zhou Jun nodded calmly, and immediately he and Xu Yuan left the scene of the dispute and walked towards the depths of the VIP area. After the two of them walked away, the scene erupted into an uncontrollable roar. Oh my god, there is actually someone who can put down manager Xiao. The later big shot could make manager Xiao kneel down and apologize with just a few words, but when he faced the young man, he also became a person to please. Doesn't it mean that the young man's status is far above them? Quote. This is amazing. He looks like we are wearing cheap street clothes, but I didn't expect that he is so capable. Who is this young man? Today is really worth it. I can actually see manager Xiao being defeated. Quote dot 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 quote. The crowd was in a commotion, looking at Zhou Jun's back as he calmly walked away, filled with awe. Only Zhou Tong's face was as gloomy as water. Jun Zhou, how does he know the deacon of Phylong Tower? He gritted his teeth, but he didn't see Zhou Jun deflated. He was very unhappy and shocked at the same time. After all, the deacon of Phylong Tower has a high position of authority. Even with his status as a direct descendant of the Zhou family, it is impossible for a deacon to stand up for him even if he does not hesitate to show his own rank. Zhou Jun is just an abandoned son, why on earth? Zhou Tong clenched his fists tightly, and Zhou Tong's eyes were full of jealousy. At the same time, Morong Shui, who had been watching the whole farce, also bit her red lips, feeling a kind of bitterness in her heart. She thought over and over again that Zhou Jun was a scoundrel who only talked big words, but in the end, reality slapped her hard. The young man's confident words at that time still echoed in his ears. Thinking of this, Morong Shui couldn't help but sigh. Yes, you know a Phylong Tower Deacon, so you do have such confidence. She looked up, her eyes dazed. Morong Shui will never know that Zhou Jun's confidence has always been not due to so-called connections. It's about my perseverance, extraordinary talent, and belief that I am invincible. After returning from rebirth, everything he did was to become stronger. This time I came to Phylong Tower to register the best record of 10th level attributes, just for the reward of first place. The Federation has not announced what this reward is specifically, but there are rumors circulating on the internet all the time. Some say it is an epic level prop, and some say it is a massive amount of high-end resources. No matter which one it is, this so-called reward is eye-catching. Over the past hundreds of years, countless talented people have charged towards the top of attribute records, but only a few have reached the top. Over time, this record of the best attributes in the Federation has become an obsession in the hearts of countless geniuses. Even later, it has evolved into an alternative ranking. Countless geniuses are proud to be on this list. The generous reward that attracted countless people at first turned out to be a lucky draw. The list recording all these honors is called the God List. 
This means that anyone who can be on this list will definitely become the God King of the human race in the future. The emergence of the God list promoted the prosperity of human martial arts. In order to encourage people to challenge the God list, the Federation has not hesitated to set up a list display center in the Phylong building in every city in the world, and welcomes geniuses from any city around the world to come and challenge. The Phylong Tower in Linyuan City naturally has this list, and it is located on the third floor. At this moment, Zhou Jun and Xu Yuan's figures have appeared here. The third floor is not as crowded as the first floor, because this floor is specially used to test one's own attribute values, and few people come here on weekdays. When Zhou Jun climbed up to the third floor, he glanced at the huge floor and it was so empty that he could take in everything. Except for a few scattered passers-by, there was only a high-tech screen suspended in the center, which displayed lines of text. Brother Xiao Zhou, that is the divine list. As if aware of Zhou Jun's gaze, Xu Yuan smiled slightly and led him over. Recently, I discovered that this floating screen is huge, with a height of 4 to 5 meters. The fonts on it are flying and shining with golden brilliance, which is very oppressive. Zhou Jun raised his eyes and saw the thundering names recorded on it. The highest record of federal LV-10 attributes God list. No one. Fiery, total attribute points, 13,912. No two. Punch the little monster, total attribute points, 11,292. No three. Haotian, total attribute points, 10,104. No 4. A black dragon gun, total attribute points, 10,008. No 5. Dominate the world, total attribute points, 9,999. No 6. Zhao Yaxian, total attribute points, 9,923. No 7. Comma. The list will only be displayed to the top 10 and will no longer be displayed. In addition, Few of the people on the list have real names, and most of them use code names, just like nicknames in the game. As a result, at a glance, there are all kinds of names. Xu Yuan seemed to have noticed this scene, and couldn't help but sigh with a wry smile, and explained to Zhou Jun, although it seems a little weird, this is a helpless move by the Federation to protect the genius of our human race. After all, the situation in Blue Star is turbulent, and there are dark creatures surrounding the starry sky. Before I, a human genius, can grow up, I can only use this method to get on the god list. Of course, if you don't like your code name after you become stronger, you can also apply to the Federation to change the name on the list to your real name. For example, the flame god king you see now, he actually used the code name before he reached level 500. He only changed his name back to his real name when he was strong enough and completely fearless of all conspiracies and tricks. After hearing Xu Yuan's explanation, Zhou Jun nodded. The Federation God list is so famous that it was even once called the scheduled list of the future God Kings of the human race. Such a high profile will naturally attract the attention of various forces with ulterior motives. Therefore, when you are on the list at a low level, there is nothing wrong with choosing to use a code name to protect yourself. Anyway, it doesn't affect getting rewards. Brother Xiao Zhou, since you want to challenge the god list, you'd better give him a code name. Xu Yuan reminded him at this time. Regardless of whether Zhou Jun's total attributes can be on the list, this scene has enough to say. After all, he is an SSS level genius no matter what. Code name. After hearing this, Zhou Jun did not refuse. He had lived a new life and naturally knew when to be high profile and when to be low key. This record of the highest federal level is updated simultaneously all over the world. Once he is on the list, there is no doubt that he will immediately attract everyone's attention. Even the dark creatures above the starry sky might pay attention to him. Zhou Jun would not joke with his own life, so after thinking for a moment, he made a decision. Emperor, that was the code name he had in mind. Because his name contains the word, Jun. The king symbolizes the emperor in ancient times, and can also be called the emperor. The two fit perfectly. Emperor. When Xu Yuan saw the code name determined by Zhou Jun, he couldn't help but be startled and extremely surprised. Obviously, he felt the profound meaning behind the name Zhou Jun. Does he think that in the future he will be like the supreme human race who ruled the country in ancient times and rule the world? 
Xu Yuan did not dare to think about the answer to this question, but there was no doubt that Zhou Jun's weight in his heart became heavier from this moment on. A few minutes later, Zhou Jun, who had filled in all the information, appeared in a closed training room. If you want to challenge the federal attribute record, it's not just as simple as showing the panel. Because the data on the panel can be temporarily modified through some special props, there is a possibility of fraud. Therefore, the Federation uses the most primitive registration method, which is the combat detection method. In the training room, there will be a special puppet summoned by a mythical prop. As long as the registrant fights with it, the attributes of the whole body will be automatically recorded. The values can be accurately synchronized with the own panel, which is very magical. This can effectively prevent the possibility of cheating. Of course, since it is testing its own attribute values, any attribute bonuses brought by equipment are not allowed. When Zhou Jun entered the training room, he had already taken off all his equipment. Brother Xiao Zhou, if you are ready, I will start from here. Xu Yuan's voice came from the broadcast on the roof of the training room. As a staff member of Phylong Building, he is not allowed to enter the training room and is responsible for activating the puppets outside. Let's start. Zhou Jun took a deep breath at this moment, pushed his body to its peak, and then made a ready gesture towards the camera above his head. The quiet training room. In the center of the flat field, Zhou Jun took a stance and adjusted his breathing rhythm. A surging power filled his limbs and bones as he vomited and inhaled, ready to exert force at any time. In front of him, the activated trial puppet slowly started to activate at this time. The puppet has no face, and its entire body is made of fine steel. It is covered with complicated patterns. If you look carefully at the top of its head, you can also see the grade information. Name, Universal Attribute Detection Puppet. Level, LV10. Grade, Myth. Type, Summoning Props. Description, It does not have enough attack power to hurt people but it has strong resistance to strikes and has a variety of attack modes, which can effectively detect the enemy's comprehensive attribute values. A bland description, nothing too noteworthy. At this time, it seemed that it sensed Zhou Jun's presence. The trial puppet raised its two arms. With a, click, 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 sound, two large caliber gun barrels appeared out of thin air on its arms. Zhou Jun couldn't help but raise his eyebrows when he saw this, and looked at this scene with great interest. Under his gaze, a green sphere was about to eject from the thick muzzle of the gun. Boom! Finally, with a crisp, gunshot, the green ball flew out of the muzzle and shot straight towards Zhou Jun's vitals. After being separated from the cover of the gun barrel, the green ball flying in the air was also revealed. It turned out to be a solid rubber ball similar to a baseball. This kind of rubber ball may hurt a little when it hits a person, but there is really no real harm. Is this a test of my agility? After Zhou Jun dodged easily, he roughly guessed the intention of testing the puppet. Sure enough, after this blow, the puppet seemed to be completely activated, and began to continuously spray rubber balls at Zhou Jun's vital points. The speed became faster and faster, and the frequency became higher and higher, until it formed a nearly dense network. An airtight attack net. Bang 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 bang. The sound of muzzle spray echoed continuously in the silent training room. Zhou Jun also gradually entered the state at this moment, and his figure flashed and moved, perfectly demonstrating what a wave of extreme movements is. After all, with all his attribute points filled up, he has an agility of 5200. There was only an L10 trial puppet in front of him. Even if the gun barrel exploded, it would not be able to touch a single hair of Zhou Jun. Hurry up! Hurry up, Zhou Jun seemed to feel that it was not enough, and he actually took some time to shout to the puppet while dodging. And this arrogant scene also completely, irritated, the trial puppet. The opponent's pupils made of gems turned slightly, and the steel plate on the chest unfolded, and then two more black barrels were seen extending from it, come out. That's a total of four muzzles. The number of rubber balls ejected has doubled. At the same time, the speed also became faster, shooting at Zhou Jun one after another. The space left for him to use his physical skills is getting smaller and smaller. If he is not careful now, he may be attacked. Zhou Jun's face also became rarely focused, and he exerted unprecedented energy. His body seemed to turn into a swimming dragon at this moment, moving around rapidly. Comma. At the same time, 
It's in the observation room just across the wall from the training room. Xu Yuan was watching the surveillance footage with his mouth agape, his mouth open and disbelief written all over his face. Four guns, they were all at full speed, and they missed a single hit. How is this possible? It seems that in the fierce test back then, the performance was just like this, right? How high is Zhou Jun's agility attribute? Xu Yuan was completely confused by the scenes displayed in front of him on the surveillance camera. Yan Lai, the current holder of the 10th level attribute in the Federation, was born 50 years ago. Xu Yuan is an old man from Phylong Tower, and he once had the opportunity to read the information left behind during the Yan Lai test. At this time, Zhou Jun's performance was extremely similar to that of the legendary Yan Lai. You know, what kind of person is Yan Lai? It is not an exaggeration to say that they are the strongest group of geniuses in the Federation in the past century. At level 10, his overall attributes were as high as 13,000, and his agility alone was 3,000. This is simply not something ordinary people can do. You know, for an ordinary person who has never trained, without any chance to help, relying only on the attribute points given by upgrades, the average four-dimensional value at level 10 will not exceed 200. Yan Lai is a peerless genius and comes from a prominent family. Not only did he take all kinds of secret medicines that increase attribute points before reaching level 10, he also exercised since he was a child, playing games with wild beasts in the mountains every day. Even before awakening, he dared to hunt monsters alone. With hard training day and night, he had the opportunity to reach the top at level 10 and dominate the world. But what about Zhou Jun? He is a high school student who goes to and from school normally, but his agility performance is on par with Yan Lai. How incredible is this? Wrong. His performance has surpassed that of Yan Lai. Just when Xu Yuan was thinking about this, he seemed to suddenly remember something, and his pupils suddenly dilated. Yan Lai's test performance back then was that although he forced the trial puppet to attack with four guns at full speed, he did not dodge them all. But in the five-minute test, he was attacked seven times in total. But what about Mr. Joe in front of him? It has been four minutes since the agility test started, but his expression is still extremely calm, and no rubber ball can touch the corner of his clothes. No matter how tricky the attack from the trial puppet is, Zhou Jun can dodge it with his agility. Xu Yuan was surprised and shocked when he discovered this. Could it be that, he wants to pass the agility test without any injuries? This idea suddenly popped into Xu Yuan's mind, and then it grew out of control. To be honest, Xu Yuan didn't care when he learned that Zhou Jun came to Phylong Tower today to challenge the god list. Although Zhou Jun is an SSS level talent holder, this is not enough in front of the god list. You know, the god list was established 500 years ago, and its scope is global. In the past 500 years, the entire Blue Star has produced countless amazing talents. They competed to be on the list. Even though they were separated by a long river of time, they still fought fiercely, which finally led to the current situation. It can be said that in front of this list, SSS talent has become the least worth showing off, because everyone has it. Because of this, when Xu Yuan learned that Zhou Jun was going to challenge the god list, although he was flattering, he didn't take it seriously in his heart. I just thought that the other party was young and arrogant, did not understand the value of the god list, and acted on a whim. In his eyes, Zhou Jun is already good enough to be called an unparalleled genius if he is ranked among the top 1000 on the god list, let alone reaching the top. But who would have thought that the test had just begun and Zhou Jun had already shown strength far beyond ordinary people? In terms of agility, his performance is even better than Yan Lai's back then. It's terrible, his agility definitely exceeds 4000. This attribute point alone is enough to rank in the top 500 of the god list. What's ridiculous is that I even speculated that he wouldn't even be able to make it to 1000. Xu Yuan shook his head absentmindedly. At this moment, he finally realized what kind of terrifying monster he had met. Old Xu, who is in the training room. Just as Xu Yuan was staring nervously at the surveillance screen, the door behind him was suddenly pushed open. Then he saw a woman in a fiery red dress hurried in, her eyes a little excited. Deacon Chen. Xu Yuan was stunned when he saw the woman in the fiery red dress. Because the woman in front of him was, like him, a deacon of Phylong Tower, and held great power in her hands. 
Her eyes were urgent at this time and she said, When I just passed by the training room, I felt the trial puppet inside use four shots at full speed. How many years has it been? How many years has no one in Linyuan City been able to trigger such a test condition? Well, which genius is he? The youngest son of the Wang family, the eldest son of the Morong family, or the new young master of the Zhou family? As the saying goes, martial arts connects the gods, and it is the same in this world. When a person's level reaches a certain level, his five senses will be greatly improved. Even from a long distance, he can vaguely feel a certain scene. It is said that the top power above the starry sky has superb five senses and can penetrate one star field with a thought and understand what is happening on the other side. Deacon Chen is a level higher than Xu Yuan, and has already vaguely activated this ability, so he just passed by the training room and felt the movements of the puppets being trained inside. That's how the current scene happened. After Xu Yuan heard this, he stepped out with a wry smile and showed the monitor screen behind him, it's, a junior from the Zhou family. Zhou family, Zhou Wang, Deacon Chen was startled and seemed a little surprised by this result. There are only a few young geniuses in Linyuan City. She has heard about them and even met Zhou Wang a few times. However, she only felt that this young man seemed a bit hypocritical, but she did not realize that he was so extraordinary. Four-dimensional properties. However, in the face of this inquiry, Xu Yuan shook his head, no, he is a junior who has been expelled from the Zhou family. His name is Zhou Jun. His father is Zhou Shanrong. The plain words came out, but they were like thunder exploding in the night sky. Deacon Chen's pupils widened a bit, and he hurriedly rushed to the monitor to take a look. When he saw clearly that the figure inside was indeed not Zhou Wang, he was extremely surprised. This, is this Zhou Shanrong's son? His agility attribute value must be over 4,000. More than that, Xu Yuan sighed at this moment and said, he has never been hit even once so far. In addition, he has a rare dual talent. The second talent is as high as SSS level. I registered it myself. What? As soon as these words came out, Deacon Chen was shocked again, and even Miaoman's body swayed and she could no longer stand still. In my entire life, I have never seen such a terrifying talent. Is he really the young god king? Oh, by the way, he has also been recognized by the Federation as a candidate for the accurate sequence. After a pause, Xu Yuan dropped another bombshell. This, this, Deacon Chen's beautiful eyes widened, his mind was dizzy, and he was completely speechless. This feeling is like going out for a walk and suddenly hearing someone playing basketball in the arena next door. When you go in, you find that it is a top NBA player. Absurd and magical. Boom. Just when the two people in the monitoring room couldn't calm down, the sound of the last rubber ball hitting the ground came from the earphones and they saw that Zhou Jun had completed the test. Four shots were fired at full speed, but none of them hit him. The results of his agility attribute detection also appeared in the data feedback in the monitoring room in real time. Citizen's name, Zhou Jun. Agility value, 5200. When those dazzling numbers were displayed in front of their eyes, both Xu Yuan and Deacon Chen were completely speechless. Terrible, horrible, although I had expected it, I didn't expect it to be so high. A single attribute exceeds 5,000. What is the concept? It is simply unheard of and unseen, even Yan Lai and Hoshin back then are far inferior. Deacon Xu, continue. The confident words of the young man came from the loudspeaker in their ears, bringing the two people's numb thoughts back to reality. After Xu Yuan reacted, he did not dare to neglect, and quickly controlled the trial puppet to start the next test. In the next ten minutes, Xu Yuan and Deacon Chen almost saw scenes they would never forget. I saw that Zhou Jun had no weaknesses in either the physical test or the mental test, and just like the agility test, he directly forced the trial puppet to open the highest difficulty and the test results of his various attributes are also uniform, which is so shocking that it makes people speechless after just one look. Both mentally and physically, the agility was the same as before, reaching an astonishing 5,200 points. The total of these three attribute values alone has reached 15,000, far exceeding Yan Lai who ranks first on the god list. But don't forget, Zhou Jun still has one strength attribute that he hasn't tested yet. 
If it is still 5,200 points, it will completely refresh all the records in the history of the entire federation and cause a sensation in Blue Star. Old Shu, he, does he know that he is a candidate for the quasi sequence? In the silence, Deacon Chen asked this sentence. Shu Yuan was startled, shook his head, and replied, I didn't tell him, you also know that such things as sequence disputes are always cruel. Besides, before becoming a real sequence, there is no substantial benefit to being a quasi-sequence. On the contrary, it will attract countless people to covet it. I'm afraid that telling him in advance will mess up his mood. When the time is right, he will naturally know. The Federation's serial battle is the cruelest Shira field, known as the genius meat grinder. Before it becomes a true sequence, even quasi-sequences are in danger of falling. What's even more frightening is that this kind of competition has already started quietly when competing for the right series spots. Some people are young and arrogant. After being given the status of a candidate for the pre-series by the Federation, they think that they have great abilities, so they become complacent and arrogant, which invisibly destroys their ambition to be enterprising and upward. As a result, when I actually compete with other people for accurate sequences in the future, I will be completely defeated. Therefore, after Zhou Jun was included in the candidate list for the accurate sequence, Xu Yuan discussed it with the old principal and did not tell him about it as a way to protect the genius. I have to say that although Xu Yuan is a bit snobbish, he has a good heart, knows his mistakes and can correct them, and knows how to assess the situation. After hearing this, Butler Chen looked strange and sighed. I think with the kid's ability, it's a blessing not to hunt others after the sequence battle begins. Anyone who provokes him is simply seeking death. You are not protecting me. No matter what the point, there's no harm in telling him directly. Alas, I didn't expect him to be so powerful. He just tested three attributes and already broke the record on the god list. I finally know why he was able to enter the secret realm for the first time yesterday and reach level 10. Quote, Xu Yuan said with a bitter look on his face. Recalling the scene where Zhou Jun was always calm and unhurried in the principal's room yesterday, he finally understood where this confidence came from. Comma. And at this moment, in the surveillance screen, Zhou Jun has already begun the final test of strength. Compared with the other three items, the strength test is relatively simple. You only need to hit the strongest blow against the trial puppet. The latter will automatically calculate the strength attribute based on the force it endures. At this moment, Mr. Zhou was seen taking his posture in a leisurely manner, squatting down from a horse stance, with his waist straight, his right hand clenched into a fist, and he was gathering momentum on his abdomen. When the whole body's strength was pushed to the extreme, he suddenly punched straight. The force breaks through the air, and the wind howls. This punch shook the heaven and earth, shaking the universe. Just when Zhou Jun was testing his attribute values. The 33rd floor of Phylong Tower in an elegantly decorated tea room. There was a man, about 27 or 27 years old, with white hair, sitting cross-legged in meditation. On the tea table in front of him, a bowl of freshly brewed green tea was slowly steaming. If there are knowledgeable people here, they will be shocked when they see this scene. Because the tea brewed by the man is not an extraordinary tea, but a holy tea, with mythical quality that can only be collected from level 100 difficulty dungeons. One tail of this holy tea is worth millions of federal coins. Long-term drinking can increase various attributes of the body and slowly increase experience points. But at this moment, the white-haired young man in front of him tasted it disapprovingly. Even after taking one bite, I dumped the remaining half of the bowl directly on the tea table because I was a little dissatisfied with the taste. If anyone sees such wasteful behavior, they will call him a prodigal but it is surprisingly reasonable to focus on the white-haired young man. Because his name is Chu Tianj. He is the owner of Phylong Tower, a figure who truly stands at the pinnacle of power in Linyuan City. And Chu Tianj himself is also an out-and-out -out legend. At the age of only 28, he had reached level 194 in cultivation. He was then parachuted to Linyuan City by the Federation and served as the owner of the Phylong Tower. He held power that ordinary people could not imagine. Even the heads of aristocratic families and elders of wealthy clans had to show their respects when they saw him, and they did not dare to look down upon him at all. After all, those who can sit in the position of the owner of Phylong Tower at this age will have an extremely bright future. 
There are even rumors in the city that Chu Tianjia's position as the owner of Phylong Tower is just a decentralized training, and he will be promoted to the top of the federation or even the core hub in a few years. It is precisely because of this that many people do not want to miss the opportunity to make friends with Chu Tianj, and countless dignitaries want to visit him every day. However, in the face of all this, Chu Tianj refused. Over time, there were rumors that the owner of Phylong Tower was mysterious and arrogant. And at this moment, the owner of Chu Building, who was rumored to be magical by others, was about to throw away all the remaining tea residue when he suddenly froze. I saw an imperceptible movement of his ears, and suddenly there was a soft cry in his mouth. With such a light body, he can actually avoid even a leaf touching his body under the full speed of the test puppet's four guns. Whose genius is this? As the surprised tone sounded, Chu Tianj lowered his head and looked at the tea table with interest. But there was obviously nothing on the tea table. However, he still looked straight, as if his sight could penetrate objects, and at this moment passed through many obstacles and saw what happened on the third floor. Chu Tianj naturally didn't have clairvoyant eyes. These are the powerful five senses he possesses as a hundred-level expert, allowing him to have absolute perception within a certain range. For example, now, with only a slight movement of his ears, his listening ability has been greatly enhanced. Although he is sitting on the 33rd floor, he can clearly hear everything that happened on the 3rd floor. The conversation between Xu Yuan and Deacon Chen, the friction between Zhou Jun's body and the air as he moved around, the sound of the trial puppet spraying a rubber ball through the air, all the sound propagation trajectories were clearly transmitted to Chu Tianj at this moment, in the ears. This allowed him to draw a clear picture in his mind. This is the terror of a hundred-level powerhouse. Although he is not a god, he is almost the same. Is he Zhou Shanrong's son? I saw Chu Tianj, watching, for a while, thoughtfully. Obviously through the conversation between Xu Yuan and Xu Yuan, Zhou Jun's identity has been learned. There is a dragon in Lin Yuan, and his name is Zhou. This is how people praise Zhou Shanrong. This name is even famous among the stars. Chu Tianj has certainly heard of it. He thought that if he was Zhou Shanrong's son, it would not be surprising for him to behave like this. After smiling absentmindedly, Chu Tianj planned to restrain his perception and continue making tea. But at this moment, Xu Yuan said that Zhou Jun's second talent was SSS level and he was included in the Federal Reserve list, which made him listen again. This made him pause slightly while making tea, and he showed a strange look on his face again. SSS level, or is it a quasi-series alternative? Chu Tianj was surprised and stopped making tea. He concentrated on sensing, and a pair of eyes seemed to penetrate through the layers of obstacles and fell on Zhou Jun. Incomparably powerful talent, and extremely high agility attribute, he is considered superior in all aspects, and he is thinking about whether to make friends with him. After all, the identity of the quasi-sequence candidate is really worth paying attention to. Although the sequence battle is extremely cruel, and countless geniuses fall on this road in every session, as long as someone falls, there must be someone standing. If one can make the right bet in advance and forge a deep friendship with a powerful and accurate person, this friendship will become priceless when one enters the realm of the Supreme God King in the future. So Chu Tianj changed his mind. At this moment, I was hesitating and wavering in my heart. Although Zhou Jun is an SSS level talent, Chu Tianj himself is not bad either. He comes from a distinguished background and is already a level 100 powerhouse under the age of 30. He is also in a high power position and is in charge. Such achievements in life cannot be overstated to be called a proud man of heaven. Tian Zhao all have their own tempers, so how can they easily succumb to others? So even after learning about Zhou Jun's talent and extremely high agility attribute, he still just waited and hesitated. It wasn't until next, when Chu Tianj sensed that Zhou Jun was testing his mental and physical attributes, that his expression completely changed. Especially after Zhou Jun conducted a strength test and swung that extremely gorgeous punch, he suddenly stood up. His face could no longer remain calm, and he could not sit still for a moment. He tore the void in front of him with his bare hands, pulling out a space tunnel out of thin air, and then the figure in white clothes Ruizu stepped into it and disappeared. Comma, third floor, in the training room, following the earth-shattering earthquake, Zhou Jun closed his fist and stood up. In front of him, 
there was an obvious fist mark on the chest of the trial puppet, which was made of fine steel. At the same time, all of Joe Jun's four-dimensional attribute detection results were displayed on an LCD screen hanging above his head. Each item is 5,200, exactly the same as Joe Jun's personal panel. This surprised Joe Jun. Just when he was secretly curious about how the trial puppet worked and why the test results were so accurate. The void next to him suddenly shook, and the next second it tore out of thin air, and a figure with white hair walked out of thin air. This scene made Zhou Jun's eyelids jump wildly in shock, and he couldn't help but take two steps back. And the white haired man who suddenly appeared in front of him, who else could it be but Chu Tianj? At this moment, Chu Tianj was secretly sizing up Zhou Jun. The face with white hair hanging down her shoulders seemed as plain as water, but in fact, there was already a huge wave in her heart. Because he was present at the scene in person, he felt even more clearly about Zhou Jun's powerful physical body with full attributes. And, he saw the test results displayed on the top of the training room. All four dimensions are 5,200. Total attributes 20,800. Even though I had expected it, when I actually saw the result, I was still shocked. You know, even Yan Lai, who has occupied the top spot on the god list for 50 years, has only a total of 13,912 attributes. Zhou Jun is nearly twice as tall as the other party. This is not a human being at all, the cubs of the legendary ancient ferocious beasts are nothing more than that. Senior is. Zhou Jun had regained his composure at this time. He looked at the white-haired man in front of him with some doubts, and he raised his hands and asked. When he saw the white-haired man in front of him, his eyes were extremely complex, with a variety of emotions flowing from shock, wonder, emotion, admiration, etc. After a long time, he calmed down all his emotions, then chuckled and said. My name is Chu Tianj, and I am the owner of Phylong Tower. If you don't mind, brother, from now on, I will be responsible for all your business in Phylong Tower. How about that? After the words fell, Zhou Jun was stunned. The two deacons who were secretly peeping in the monitoring room next door sat on the ground with a, pop, sound. When he saw Chu Tianj appear in the training room, Xu Yuan's eyes almost popped out of his eyes behind the monitor. Brother Xiao Zhou actually alarmed the original poster. This, this, this. Xu Yuan stammered, as if the scene in front of him was something incomprehensible. Deacon Chen also opened his red lips slightly, his beautiful eyes widened, and Miao Man's figure stood frozen in place as if struck by lightning. It's not that they were exaggerating, it was just that the scene in front of them was too unbelievable. After all, as the deacons of Phylong Building, they know the character of their own building owner very well. He is a ruthless man who does not take the heads of the wealthy families in Linyuan City seriously. His temperament and temperament are as arrogant as heaven. On weekdays, he just sits on the 33rd floor, drinking tea and practicing calligraphy. Even those dignitaries who want to see him they were queuing up outside the door with gifts, but he didn't even look at them. Even deacons like them can see Chu Tianj only a handful of times in a year. However, such a talented and arrogant genius suddenly showed up because of a junior high school boy. He even said the words to serve him personally. How is this not shocking? Only at this moment did Xu Yuan and others understand that in front of an absolute genius, even a dragon-like figure like Chu Tianj would take the initiative to put down his pride. Zhou Jun, maybe he can really stand out in the serial battle. Xu Yuan sighed. He looked at the two figures showing different styles in the surveillance screen, and then looked at the indescribable four-dimensional attributes, and he was filled with emotions. He knew that from today on, the number one on the divine list would be changed. Yan Lai has dominated the rankings for 50 years, but he will eventually step down to make way for someone more talented. In a daze, Xu Yuan felt as if he had witnessed the ups and downs of an era and became a participant in this event that was about to go down in history. Comma. In the training room, two heroic figures stood opposite each other, both observing each other. To be honest, Zhou Jun was a little surprised by Chu Tianj's appearance, but not much. After all, his four-dimensional attributes were so terrifying, far surpassing everyone on the god list, so he knew when he was doing the test that it would definitely cause a sensation afterwards. I just didn't expect that it would blow up the mysterious owner of Phylong Tower. When Chu Tianj saw Zhou Jun regaining his composure so quickly, 
he couldn't help but be shocked by Zhou Jun's calm attitude, and he felt a little more appreciative in his heart. He smiled slightly and said, I am a real person. Being able to have such profound four-dimensional attributes at level 10 is really an eye-opener for me. If you don't mind, can I let my brother do the process of registering my brother's attribute data into the federal intelligence brain later? It can be regarded as a blessing. Chu Tianjia's tone was gentle and his posture was very low. He did not assume the posture that should be taken for granted because Zhou Jun was young and of low rank. He even suppressed all his arrogance and didn't show any of it. If the wealthy elders in Linyuan City saw this scene, their eyes would probably pop out of shock. When did the owner of Phylong Tower become so easy to talk to? Or facing a high school senior? Just unbelievable. And at this moment, after Zhou Jun heard this, he waved his hands modestly, I don't dare to take it seriously. It is an honor for this junior to be appreciated by the poster. People respect me one foot, and I respect others one foot. This is Zhou Jun's principle of doing things. No matter what the purpose of this Phylong Tower building owner was, at least he did it well to save face, so that Zhou Jun did not feel uncomfortable, so he naturally wanted to return the favor. In his words, he took the initiative to lower his status. But after Chu Tianj heard this, he waved his hands repeatedly and said with a smile, Brother, you don't have to be like this. I'm only 10 years older than you. If you don't mind, you can call me brother. Since my brother asked me like this, I will boldly call you like this. Zhou Jun was also very polite and agreed immediately. Then the two laughed and became acquainted. After a chat, Zhou Jun, led by Chu Tianj, walked out of the training room and came to a smart brain. Chu Tianj raised his palm to unlock the permissions, then with a serious look on his face, he personally registered the data that Zhou Jun had just detected. At the same time, the huge light curtain in the center of the third floor also changed at this moment. A brand new name, like a god descending from heaven, suddenly landed at the top of the list. And this change was like a stone falling into a lake. The ripples it caused spread rapidly and spread throughout the Federation in the blink of an eye. The Phylong Tower God list in all cities across the Blue Star has been updated with change information simultaneously. Although this person is not always watching the God list, there will always be people who notice changes on a global scale as soon as possible. Comma, a certain city in Daxia. Phylong Tower has the highest level 10 attributes. A Sky Defender who happened to be passing by glanced at the list of gods casually as usual and was about to leave. But suddenly, as if he discovered something belatedly, his footsteps stopped in midair. The next second, he turned his head in surprise and looked directly at the once very familiar list, with his mouth hanging open. What? What's going on? Why did the list change? Why isn't Yan Lai number one? He rubbed his eyes vigorously, thinking he had seen it wrong. But no matter how many times he looked at the god list again, the content on it was indeed different from before. Oh my god. Dot the god list has changed its owner, it's going to change. He exclaimed and quickly took out his mobile phone to record the scene. At the same time, with his strange movements, he finally attracted more passers-by. They gathered around curiously and looked at the divine list, and they could no longer take their eyes away. What followed was countless exclamations. Yan Lai, who had dominated the list for 50 years, was off the list. Countless people couldn't believe it and rushed to tell each other. And similar scenes are happening simultaneously in countless cities in Blue Star. The internet exploded immediately, with countless media reporting on it. Big news, the top spot on the god list has changed hands. Sudden, just now, a mysterious genius landed at the top of the divine list. Yan Lai's record has been broken. Who is the new king of the god list? Having been the leader for 50 years, we were finally surpassed by those who came after us. Level 10 4-dimensional attribute 20,800, is this really something humans can do? Article after article flew by, and in an instant, it was spread all over the internet. Countless federal citizens knew about the change of ownership of the god list. Some people didn't believe it at first, and even thought it was a marketing account and the media was deliberately trying to attract attention. It wasn't until I discovered that everyone around me was talking about this matter that I was finally convinced that the god list had really changed hands. A mysterious genius, with an absolute advantage, broke the record set by Yan Lai. 
Yan Lai dominated the rankings for 50 years with a total four-dimensional attribute of 13,912. But the new king has a total attribute of 20,800. How many years will he rule the god list? Countless people were shocked when they thought of this. Many level 100 powerhouses were secretly paying attention to this scene. They knew that a peerless genius was born today. Perhaps in the near future, this genius will ascend to the stars and become the new god king. And his name that dominates the world is, the son of heaven. The silver bottle is broken, water slurry bursts out, and the cavalry stands out with swords and guns. The news that the emperor was ranked number one on the god list was like a flood bomb, exploding throughout the entire federation in an instant. On this day, countless people who heard the news were horrified and shocked. The mysterious emperor has also become the hottest topic at the moment. Taking the title of emperor and stepping on Yan Lai to ascend to power, this person is so courageous. The total attributes are 20,000 points. How can the latecomers surpass this? In the field of level 10 on the god list, he is afraid that he will be arbitrary for eternity. In recent years, various geniuses have been emerging throughout the Federation. Is this really a sign of the coming of the Great Age and the great prosperity of our human race? More than that, if the Emperor can continue to maintain this momentum and win the first place in the next few god lists, there may be another invincible supreme in the starry sky. That's too difficult. How many people have always been at the top of the list throughout the ages? Even Yan Lai only ranked first on the 10th level of the god list. Quote dot 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 quote. Countless people were discussing intensely, and even more people were excitedly predicting whether the emperor would continue to reach the top of the next few god lists. The federation has set a list of the best attributes for every 10 levels before level 100. There are 10 lists in total, but not all of them attract attention. In fact, there are only three that can truly be called the god list. They are the first 10 levels, the 50th level and the final 100 levels. These three levels represent the three important stages before level 100, and they are extremely important. The best records of attributes in these three stages are also the goals that countless geniuses have sprinted through the ages. As long as you can climb any one of them, you will be proud of the world. As for those who are on all three lists, they are very few. Even Yan Lai only dominated the rankings at the first tenth level. By the time he reached level 50, his total attributes could only rank third. This shows how difficult it is to win the top three rankings. The emperor is famous all over the world today and won the first place with an attribute of 20,800. Few people are willing to believe that at level 50 and 100, he can still occupy the top spot like he does today. Of course, this does not affect the craze caused by the emergence of the emperor in the federation. The impression he gives people is still mysterious and powerful. Not only ordinary people, but also many veteran powerful people and transcendent forces are paying attention. Kama, Daxia, Kunlun Mountains On top of the majestic and stretching mountains, there is a steel city with a strong sci-fi feel, which is built on top of it in a very counter-intuitive way. The interior of this city is extremely developed and as gorgeous as a science fiction movie, but when you look around you can't see any ordinary people. Because this is the location of Kunlun University, the number one university in the Federation. In other words, the entire steel city in front of us is the territory of Kunlun University. At this moment, in the tallest office building on the University of Queensland campus. In the principal's office, a figure stumbled in with a frightened look on his face. He raised the tablet in his hand and shouted, Principal, something bad is going to happen. How unbecoming is it to be in a panic? In front of him, an old man with gray hair but an air of calm and self-importance was scolding him unhappily. Obviously, this old man is the helmsman of Kunlun University, the most famous university in the Federation. Although he is nearly a hundred years old, he is still full of vitality and blood, and his rosy face looks more energetic than many young people. A pair of sophisticated eyes seemed to be able to see through people's hearts. They were extremely captivating, and there was a divine light flickering between their glances. He doesn't look like a principal who teaches and educates people at all, but more like a veteran who has returned with honor from the battlefield. After being reprimanded, the assistant in front of him immediately shrank his neck and calmed down. Then he walked to the desk and said softly, 
principle, the federal record for the highest level 10 attributes has just been broken. A mysterious man named Tianzi replaced Yan Lai with a total attribute of 20,800 points. What, however, as soon as the assistant finished speaking, the old principal in front of him, who had just scolded him for panicking, stood up and then grabbed the tablet directly. The above content is exactly the news report about the change of ownership of the god list. Principal, you, the assistant stared at this scene dumbfounded, feeling as if the old principal's majestic persona had suddenly collapsed. After all, I have been accompanying the old man in front of me for so many years, and this is the first time I have seen him so rude. Especially when I saw the old man's inconsistent reactions, I wanted to laugh for a moment, but I didn't dare, and my face turned red. After a long time, the old principal finally finished reading all the news and put down the tablet. After looking at his assistant with some annoyance, he stroked his gray beard with one hand and said, this is a good thing. Our human race can maintain its longevity for a long time precisely because of the emergence of geniuses who continue to break records. Fight against the dark creatures of the stars. It's just a pity that my bet with that old boy Wu Laogui ended up being won by him. At this point, the old principal snorted extremely displeased L.Y. Wu Laogui is the principal of Taichu Academy. The two old men made a bet 50 years ago based on Yan Lai's ranking. The content of the bet is how long it will take for Yan Lai's record to be broken. The old principal bet that it would take at least 50 years, while Mr. Wu was certain that it would be within 50 years. This year happens to be the 50th year. Obviously, the winner is Wu Laogui, and the old principal is only one step away from winning the bet. This is why the assistant yelled, something bad happened, as soon as he came in. The old principal became extremely angry when he thought of old ghost Wu's mean old face and how he would sneer in front of him. After blowing his beard and staring, he got sulky for a while, and then he said, go check this emperor's personal information. If he is a candidate for the college entrance examination this year, let him choose our University of Kunming. What if he doesn't come? The assistant asked, stunned. But at this moment, the old principal calmly took a sip of the hot water in the thermos cup and said decisively. He won't refuse, because we are the University of Queensland. Between his words, he revealed extremely strong self-confidence. This is the confidence of the federal number one university. Comma. At the same time, except Kunlun University. Similar scenes are also playing out in the other three top universities. The top leaders of Yaochi University, Taichu Academy, Nantianmen College, all of these top schools have already learned about the change of ownership of the divine list. Among them, Taichu Academy, commanded by old ghost Wu, mentioned by the old principal of Kunlun, was one step ahead of others and obtained Zhou Jun's detailed information from the core hub of the Federation. After confirming that the opponent was really a senior high school candidate, Wu Laogui decided on the spot that he would give Zhou Jun a place to be recommended. The decision was so decisive that many senior officials in the school were stunned. You know, the college entrance examination has not yet begun, but the four major Blue Star universities have already begun gearing up and are even ready to compete for students. This is unprecedented in the hundreds or even thousands of years of history of the Federation. The four major universities in the Federation were in a state of excitement because of Zhou Jun's ascent to the top, and some other extraordinary forces were not calm either. After all, the total attributes of the whole body at level 10 exceeded 20,000. This move not only broke the record on the god list, but also broke the record since humans had upgrade panels. The meaning and impact behind it are extremely far-reaching. All the major forces are taking notice. The head of a $100 billion consortium published an announcement on the internet, saying that he was willing to give out 10% of his shares as a reward, as long as the emperor was willing to become the spokesperson of their group. This matter became a hot search topic and caused a sensation. There are also well-known experts and scholars in the Federation who are shouting to the entire internet, begging the emperor to inform the four-dimensional attribute limit data of each level, saying that this has great significance for martial arts research, which makes the onlookers stunned. There are also dark web killers who have received a murder order issued by some evil organizations and are searching for the emperor himself all over the world. This turmoil has even spread to the core center of the Federation. In the divine capital of Great Shaw, there is the meeting tower that symbolizes the highest power of the Federation in the Eastern Hemisphere. 
One after another, the most powerful people were reading the emperor's detailed information. From Zhou Jun's birth, to his early wisdom as a child, the family's shocking changes in his youth, his various performances when registering talents, and even the conversation with Chu Tianj ten minutes ago, everything was displayed in front of his eyes in detail. Double talents, the second talent is only SSS level, which is a bit interesting. But we don't know exactly what his natural abilities are. It must be related to increasing one's attribute points. Yes, no matter how much training a human being has, it is impossible to have a total attribute of 20,000 points at level 10. Is it a talent that takes the path of physical sanctification? Talent aside, this kid was able to reach level 10 when he entered the secret realm for the first time. His skills are really good. There is indeed something to be said for it, but there are some stains in his family life. His father is a sinner who betrayed the Federation. Around the circular conference table, one big person after another was talking to each other. When Zhou Shanrong was mentioned, everyone was silent for a moment. After a long time, the voice finally came back. As for Zhou Shanrong and his wife's betrayal of the human race, is the federal conviction a bit arbitrary? How is it arbitrary? The murder of the same clan by Zhou Shanrong and his wife was witnessed by King Ji Shen with his own eyes. The evidence is conclusive. There is only one witness, King Heimgami. Isn't it enough? I don't think it's enough. The Zhou family in Linyuan City has always been loyal to the Federation. We also investigated Zhou Shanrong's past back then, and he doesn't seem like someone who would betray the human race. HMPH. So what if there is something fishy in this? As long as he really raised the butcher's knife against fellow human beings, that's enough. But his son Zhou Jun is now number one on the god list. Yes, judging from Zhou Jun's current performance, he is quite good in all aspects. He can be said to be the first echelon of federal seeds. We cannot allow a gap between geniuses and our federation. I propose to withdraw the wanted order first and restart the investigation into Zhou Shanrong and his wife. I agree. I agree too. Quote dot 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 quote. At the round table, many big shots expressed their opinions. In a few words, they actually restarted the investigation into the case of Zhou Shanrong and his wife. Although some people were dissatisfied, the majority voted in favor. According to the principle of the minority obeying the majority, the matter was decided. People with eyesight secretly sigh that no one has mentioned this case for so many years. But now, with Zhou Jun's sharp edge revealed, once he gained power, it was possible for a man who had betrayed the human race to stand up. This is the true value of father and son. The Zhou family is really amazing. A real dragon emerged. Although this dragon is still in its infancy, it already has the ability to stir up troubles in all directions. At this time, Linyuan City. Zhou Jun is not aware of all the disturbances in the outside world. After completing the registration, he followed Chu Tianj to the 33rd floor for tea. In the quiet tea room, Zhou Jun looked surprised as he tasted Chu Tianj's one million tail mythical tea. Because on his personal panel, lines of prompts were constantly beating. Drink LV100 mythical tea, experience plus one. Drink LV100 mythical tea, experience plus one. Drink LV100 mythical tea, experience plus one. Although the increase is very weak, it is many times faster than dry meditation. After a while, he was almost pushed to level 11. Zhou Jun couldn't help but sigh, really, anything exposed from the fingers of a level 100 expert is enough to make the mouths of novices like them full of oil. After thinking about this, he became much more determined to speed up his level up. If you like it, brother, you can take the tea later. Chu Tianj took in Zhou Jun's expression completely, and after making a new pot of tea for the two of them, he suggested with a smile. Thank you very much, brother. Zhou Jun cupped his hands and did not refuse, because he was really greedy for the tea at the moment. Perhaps for Chu Tianj, this kind of tea that can only add one point of experience is dispensable. But for Zhou Jun, who has unlimited sublimation ability, its value is inestimable. If you can get some from Chu Tianj, a level 100 powerhouse, it will definitely be a huge profit. After all, except for a hundred level powerhouse like Chu Tianj, it is difficult for others to possess this kind of holy tea. Ha <laughs> ha, brother, you don't have to be polite. You climbed to the top of the list, but it opened my eyes. 
As the saying goes, BMWs give heroes. I don't have a BMW, but I still have some holy tea. Chu Tianj smiled up to the sky and threw the remaining two tails of useless tea leaves to Zhou Jun, looking very free and easy. When Zhou Jun saw this, he was also infected by the passion, and the two soon started chatting freely. Talking about the past, present and future, commenting on the geniuses of the world, before you know it, you will finish the pot of tea. Brother, when I come to Phylong Tower this time, I actually still have some equipment to redeem. Seeing that the time was right, Zhou Jun drank the last sip of tea, took out the red card and put it on the table. At the same time, white light appeared all over his body, and he reached level 11 unknowingly. Chu Tianj was first surprised by Zhou Jun's upgraded light, but his eyes were immediately attracted by the red card. This is... Dot the Federal Supreme Card, he exclaimed, making an obvious mistake in front of Zhou Jun for the first time. Then he shook his head with a wry smile and said, I thought that my brother's accurate candidate status was enough to impress me, but I didn't expect that I underestimated the importance that the federal high-level officials attached to you, and even gave you the Supreme Card. Quasi-sequence, Zhou Jun was startled, a little confused. When Chu Tianj saw this, he slapped his head, I almost forgot that you don't know about this yet. After saying that, he told Zhou Jun about the sequence dispute. After Zhou Jun heard this, he was surprised, but he didn't say much. After all, his original goal was to become the supreme human race and find the truth behind his parents' disappearance. This is a road full of thorns. He has to fight against many geniuses, but he has long been prepared to compete with the heroes of the world. Therefore, the so-called serial identity is not important to him, at most it is the icing on the cake. Brother, I really have a set of mythical universal equipment that can be exchanged for your red card in Phylong Tower. After Chu Tianj finished talking about the sequence, he brought the topic back to equipment rewards. With a flip of his hand, five pieces of golden equipment appeared in front of him. You have to take a look at it first. If you don't like it, I can apply to the federal government to exchange it for another one. No need, just let it happen. After Zhou Jun heard Chu Tianja's words, he smiled. After all, no matter what a tribute the equipment is, it has to be sublimated once when you come to him. There is really no need to change it or not. However, there was still a trace of expectation in his eyes as he looked towards the set of mythical equipment. Chapter 41 Name, Breastplate of Wrath of the Earth Serpent Grade, Myth, Type, Heavy Armor, Top Restrictions, LV10, LV25 Physique, Plus 331 Strength, Plus 423 Magic Defense, Plus 562 Description, Refined from Materials Collected from the Lord Level Monster Breathing Snake After equipping it, you will gain 2% damage immunity, 2% damage increase, and 2% additional experience points. Note this equipment is a set. Collect other parts to unlock additional attributes. The first piece of equipment that catches the eye is a breastplate. After Zhou Jun casually glanced at the attributes and descriptions, his eyes paused for a moment on the categories. The category of heavy armor is more in line with Zhou Jun's initial thoughts. His physical body is strong, his blood is abundant, and his physique and strength are far beyond those of ordinary people. Therefore, Heavy armor is the most suitable equipment for him, and can directly receive the highest proportion of attribute bonuses. As for the so-called weight-bearing, it is almost invisible to Zhou Jun's physical body. He moved his eyes away from this breastplate and looked at the properties of several other pieces of equipment one by one. They are the Wrath of the Earth Serpent shoulder pads, the Wrath of the Earth Serpent bottoms, the Wrath of the Earth Serpent belt, and the Wrath of the Earth Serpent boots. There are five pieces of equipment in total, which is a complete set. The attribute bonus ratios of each piece are similar, and the equipment effects provided are also the same. In other words, if you wear all five pieces of equipment, you will get exactly 10% damage immunity, 10% damage increase, and 10% additional experience points. Additionally, there are additional set effects. Wrath of the Earth Snake set description, the wearer will gain the power of the Earth Snake, and there is a 5% chance to summon the power of the Earth Snake for a synchronized attack when attacking. Adi is very lucky. This snake sheath is very famous in the novice stage. The various attribute bonuses are very good, and the attributes of the heavy armor are also very suitable for Adi's body. Shu Shi saw Zhou Jun looking satisfied, 
Chu Tian smiled and complimented him, and handed the Wrath of the Earth Snake suit into his hands. The latter held the heavy equipment in his hands, and there was a rare joy in his heart. Based on his many years of experience in his previous life, he could naturally tell that Chu Tianzhi's evaluation of this equipment was not exaggerated. Regardless of the attributes of each small part or the combined special effects of the suit, they are all quite powerful and live up to the name of mythical equipment. Even if he doesn't use the power of sublimation to increase his level, it is enough for him to be qualified to dominate various novice-level dungeons. After sublimation, the combat power provided will only be stronger. When the time comes, I am afraid that I will leapfrog and lower my level, and I will be able to crush them in all directions. Zhou Jun calmly put it into his space backpack, and looked at Chu Tianj again. I was thinking about how to talk to this newly recognized, brother, and ask for the reward for reaching the top of the god list. After all, the reason why he wanted to break the record on the god list was not to become famous, but to get the legendary rich reward from the beginning. At this point, Zhou Jun is relatively pragmatic compared to other geniuses. Chu Tianj, who has keen senses, also felt Zhou Jun's thoughtful gaze at this time and immediately understood what he meant. He couldn't help but smile and said, Brother, don't worry, the reward for reaching the top of the god list is very important, and it cannot be decided by Phylong Tower, which only has city-level authority. This reward will be airlifted from the capital city of God after being determined by the federal center. As he spoke, he counted the time silently with his fingers and said, if they move quickly, they will almost arrive. After Zhou Jun heard this, he did not question it and nodded lightly. Although this world is dominated by sky-defeating warriors, its technological power is not weak either. Especially after the area of Blue Star expanded a thousand times, the main scientific research direction of anthropologists was transportation. Whether it is land transportation or air transportation, there are huge breakthroughs. The speed of ordinary passenger planes has reached the speed of sound, and high-tech fighters are all used to transport this important material. The speed is so fast that even a trip around the world doesn't take long. Brother Chu, I wonder what the reward from the Federation will be for ranking first on the god list. Zhou Jun blinked at this moment and asked curiously. This, hearing this, Chu Tianzhi's usually confident face actually showed a bit of embarrassment, to be honest, I don't know very well. After all, the number one on the god list has not been changed for 50 years before this. What is the reward? What it is, perhaps only the King Yan Lian knows clearly. Yan Lai has dominated the list for 50 years, which means that the Federation has not issued a reward for the number one on the god list for 50 years. The time between this is too long. Not to mention Chu Tianj, the owner of the local Phylong Tower, even the senior federal officials in the Divine Capital, it is estimated that many people are not aware of it. I'm afraid only some old people who have been working for more than 50 years have heard of it. When Zhou Jun saw that Chu Tianj didn't understand him, his curiosity rose to the extreme. What exactly is this legendary god list reward that countless people are flocking to? Equipment, secret medicine, skill book, apart from that, there's probably nothing else to reward, right? Just as Zhou Jun was thinking secretly, Chu Tianj suddenly moved his ears and his eyes flashed. Coming, he grabbed the air with both hands and tore a hole in the void. Then he turned to Zhou Jun and said, Brother, please wait for me for a moment. The next second, he stepped into it and disappeared. At this time, the roar of fighter planes sounded in the sky above Phylong Tower. Zhou Jun looked at this scene in astonishment, then shook his head and smiled, and slowly poured himself a cup of tea. The Federation is still quite troublesome in the procedures for handing over valuable items. Zhou Jun doesn't know how long he will have to wait for Chu Tianj. Simply drink tea while taking out the earth snake suit you just got and start sublimating it one by one. Now, because of the effect of the epic equipment Ring of Endless Life, his recovery of all attributes has been greatly enhanced, and he can use the power of sublimation multiple times in a row. After some operations, all the equipment in his hands completely changed their appearance. I casually picked up the breastplate that I checked at the beginning. At this moment, no matter whether it was appearance or attributes, it had no trace of its original appearance. Name, Mad Dragon Soaring Breastplate. Grade, Epic. Type, Heavy Armor, Top. Restrictions, LV10LV30. Physique, Plus 531. 
Strength plus 427. Magic defense plus 890. Description, a powerful epic level armor forged by the power of sublimation. After equipped, you will gain 5% damage immunity, 5% damage increase, and 5% additional experience points. As expected, Zhou Jun triggered the advanced sublimation and directly sublimated it into epic equipment. The level cap has been increased. Attribute bonus enhancement. Equipment special effects have been comprehensively improved. The intensity of the epic level and the mythical level are not at the same level at all. The most terrifying thing is that the other four parts also triggered high-level sublimation. In other words, Zhou Jun now has a complete epic armor set. His face was filled with joy and he looked at the effect of the suit that he was most concerned about. Instructions for the crazy dragon soaring into the sky suit, the wearer will be surrounded by the power of the crazy dragon. Each time he attacks, there is a 30% chance of triggering the dragon's breath, causing burning damage that lasts for 5 seconds. During the burning period, the opponent's healing effect is reduced. Half. Zhou Jun's eyes lit up when he saw the special effects of the suit. This crazy dragon soaring to the sky set is indeed of epic quality, and the special effects of this set are completely different from the previous Earth Serpent's Wrath set. Not only is the chance of triggering special effects attacks greatly increased, but it also has a burning effect. Zhou Jun, who reached level 54 in his previous life, clearly knows the horror of burning damage. Its biggest advantage is not only the sustainable damage, but also the blocking of the treatment effect. It can be said that any skill or equipment with a burning entry can be sold for a sky-high price in the market. At the same time, having the burning ability in the team is also one of the indispensable conditions when entering the top dungeon. This time, I really made a lot of money. Zhou Jun had a smile on his lips and was in a good mood. With a thought, he put on this dazzling epic armor set. At this time, he was finally wealthy in the field of equipment. Except for earrings, bracelets and other accessories, she is basically fully clothed. Moreover, except for the Weapon Thunder Tribulation, which is of mythical quality, everything else is of epic quality. This resulted in Zhou Jun's whole body attributes being extremely luxurious. He summoned his personal panel and looked it up and down, feeling increasingly satisfied. Suddenly, he noticed that the plus signs behind the four-dimensional attributes were all shining, and then he remembered that he had just upgraded to a level and the upper limit of the four-dimensional attributes had increased again. He immediately smiled slightly, and before Chu Tianj came back, he directly filled up all the four-dimensional attributes. After a moment, extremely powerful power surged through his body. Zhou Jun's personal panel has been updated again. Name, Zhou Jun. Level LV11, 1%. Strength, 6300 plus 1392. Agility, 6300 plus 958. Spirit, 6300 plus 502. Physique, 6300 plus 1136. Skills, Broken Bone LV1, Sword Holding Mind LV1, Rhapsody of Sins LV1. Equipment, Falling Star Pendant, Epic, Extreme Blade, Thunder Tribulation, Mythical, Ring of Endless Life, Epic, Crazy Dragon Soaring into the Sky Set, Epic. Talent, SSS Level Redistribution, SSS Level Unlimited Sublimation, Only. Awakening Skill, Ultimate Sublimation LV1. Weapon Proficiency, Sword LV1. As an Epic Level Heavy Armor, the Mad Dragon Soaring Armor has greatly improved its four-dimensional attributes except Spirit. Coupled with Zhou Jun's 6,300 personal attribute points after he was promoted to LV11, his strength, physique, and agility combined directly exceeded 7,000 points. What is this concept? This means that facing monsters of the same level, Zhou Jun can cause 5 digit damage with a random strike. And if the awakening skill is activated, after using the skill, it is not a bad idea to kill 2 to 300,000 with one sword. Now if he encounters a boss of the level of the stone statue again, Zhou Jun can kill it in an instant. His heart was beating loudly, but Zhou Jun suddenly drank a bowl of holy tea, suppressing his urge to kill monsters in the dungeon. Because in his perception, Chu Tianj had returned. Sure enough, in the next second, outside the window on the 33rd floor, Chu Tianj rarely tore the void apart, but carefully flew in from the balcony. The reason why he did this was because he was holding a giant egg in his hand. Brother, 
As soon as Chu Tianj entered the room, he hurriedly walked towards Zhou Jun, with deep shock and disbelief still on his face. Don't you want to know the reward for being number one on the god list? This is it. With a trembling voice, he placed the giant egg in front of Zhou Jun, his expression extremely complicated and difficult to calm down. This scene also completely stunned Zhou Jun. Looking at the white giant egg with blue lines in front of him, he was also shocked the next second. But on top of the dome, a message appeared. Name, Shao Kong Dragon Egg. Grade, Epic. Type, Demon Pet. Growth Direction, Dragon. Explanation, the eggs of supreme monsters are only produced in the exclusive dungeon of LV300 Sky Screaming Dragon. The explosion rate is 1%. After hatching successfully, you can get the Sky Screaming Dragon Cub. The introduction is very brief, but it makes everyone who sees it unable to take their eyes away. This turned out to be an extremely rare monster egg. It is also the dragon attribute monster with the most precious blood. Racial class is even more supreme. This is absolutely crazy. No wonder even Chu Tianj couldn't calm down for a long time. Zhou Jun also made waves in his heart. He thought a lot about the reward given by the Federation for reaching the top of the god list. Skill books, equipment, secret medicine, etc., but I didn't expect that it would be a magic pet. This so-called magic pet is a special product after the birth of the copy. Only in high-level dungeons, if you kill the king level and above lord boss, can you have a slight chance to obtain it. Once a familiar is successfully hatched, it will be bound to its owner's soul and will never rebel. A fully grown magic pet has the strength to match the lord boss in the dungeon. And because magic pets are only produced in high-level dungeons, any magic pet has the potential to reach level 100. This also means that once you have a magic pet, you will have a helper with level 100 combat power out of thin air. This shows how much benefit one has from owning a magic pet. Unfortunately, it is too difficult to obtain a magic pet. For 99% of the people in the Federation, the so-called magic pet only exists in Legends. Only those top experts can covet the qualifications to get a magic pet. However, it is only a qualification. Because even if you have the strength to defeat the king level lord boss, the magic pet egg will not be 100% dropped. Just like the skewering dragon egg in front of you, the probability of obtaining it is only 1%. Except for the European Emperor, if you want to get the best result, you have to clear the skewering dragon dungeon a hundred times. Is this possible? Shao Kong Dragon is a copy of LV300, and its Lord Shao Kong Dragon is not a king level monster, but a rare supreme level monster, only one step away from the highest level demon god. A monster of this level can suppress a human SS level genius at the same level. If you want to conquer it, you must at least have an SS level team of three or more. But even so, clearing the level once is considered a fluke. Who can risk their lives to clear the level a hundred times just to get a dragon egg? It was precisely because of these reasons that Chu Tianj, the owner of Phylong Tower who was about to reach level 200, was so out of sorts and shocked beyond measure. God knows how the Federation got this dragon egg. At this moment, Chu Tianj was really envious of Zhou Jun. Once the skewering dragon hatches successfully, it means that Zhou Jun will have one more helper who can grow to at least LV300. This is terrifying. After all, Zhou Jun himself is also extremely evil. With his SSS level talent and Shao Kong Dragon, it is very likely that he will really sweep away all the geniuses of his generation in the future. And at this moment, Zhou Jun stared at the dragon egg in front of him, his heart was also filled with huge shock and indescribable joy. The reason for his emotion was not only that the Federation was willing to give him the skewering dragon, but also that he had the power of sublimation. This was what really excited him. Although Skiroring Dragon is strong, it can only grow to level 300. And Zhou Jun is destined to exceed this level in the future. A 500 level God King, or even a 1000 level Supreme, this is his goal. Therefore, Skiroring Dragon may be of great help to Zhou Jun in the early stage, but it will definitely gradually become ineffective in the later stage until it is no longer necessary. But if the Shao Kong dragon egg that has not yet hatched is sublimated once, everything will be different. A dragon egg of epic quality must be immortal after sublimation. This will most likely result in the hatching of a demon level pet. Demon God level, 
the pinnacle of all monsters, even the god king above the starry sky, cannot be underestimated. After all, on Blue Star, there are still many LV500 demon lord level dungeons that have not been conquered until now. Therefore, if you really have a demon level pet, the benefits can be imagined. This is why Zhou Jun is really excited. I, Chu Tianj, consider myself to be one of the best among men, a leader of the younger generation. But when I compare with the little brother in front of me this week, I realize that there is someone out there. Perhaps he can really stand out in the serial battle, and one day even kill in the stars and leave his name in history. Chu Tianj looked at the young man stroking the dome in front of him and thought to himself. He had a vague hunch that going out of his way to make friends with Zhou Jun today might be the most correct decision he made in his life. Although this may seem unbelievable to outsiders, after all, he was once a young genius, and now he serves as the building owner of a city. He holds a high position of power, and it should only be for others to fawn over him. But the truth is that only Chu Tianj understands in his heart that the road to upgrade is like sailing against the current, the higher you go, the harder it becomes. Especially at his level, the experience points required for each level up are huge. However, the strength of the monsters in the dungeon has doubled, and the gap that equipment and props can make up is getting smaller and smaller. In many cases, defeating a dungeon once, let alone improving the level, being able to come out alive is already a blessing. Today, Chu Tianj has deeply understood that he cannot go far in high-level dungeons just with the help of external help such as equipment and secret medicine. If you want to continue moving forward, you can only rely on your own incomparable talents and powerful skills. Therefore, in the face of truly outstanding geniuses, the level gap between the two parties is by no means an obstacle to getting acquainted. On the contrary, it is an opportunity. This is also the reason why Chu Tianj's attitude became more kind than before after he gradually understood Zhou Jun's personality. When his thoughts turned here, Chu Tianj suddenly thought of something. He looked at Zhou Jun who had just put away the dome. After thinking for a while, he suddenly said, Brother, you know that everyone will open a core skill bar after reaching level 18, right? Hearing Chu Tianj's question, Zhou Jun raised his head in surprise, a little confused, but still nodded and said, of course, these are all required questions for the college entrance examination. In this world, although humans have upgrade panels and can defy the odds and become gods, there is no such thing as job change. Perhaps this is because Blue Star is the real world, and humans actually become physically stronger after upgrading. It's not just a string of virtual data like in the game. However, even though it is impossible to change jobs, there are other paths similar to job changes that can be taken. That is, when everyone reaches level 18, there will be an additional, core skill bar, on the panel. This core skill is similar to the natal skills in fantasy novels, and will be extremely helpful for future advancement. A powerful core skill can even change a person's fate against the will of heaven. Even a D-level useless talent may be able to find a way out. Zhou Jun was able to reach level 54 in his previous life. In addition to Yi Chengshan's help, it was also related to his luck in getting a gold level core skill book. Otherwise, how could he truly gain a foothold in this world, relying solely on the strength of others? Therefore, for the Sky Defender, being able to master a powerful core skill is crucial and can even affect a lifetime. But unfortunately, it is extremely difficult to obtain high level core skill books. Especially for ordinary people, it is like a dream. The reason for this is not that the core skill has a low explosion rate, because it is not produced in the dungeon at all. According to old legend, there is an eternal, world tree, standing above the blue star. This tree is so huge that its branches and leaves cover the sky and the sun. It grows at the end of the world. The core skill book is the product of world tree. It is rumored that there is another universe within the leaves of the world tree, and these core skill books are hidden inside. There is no doubt that since there were humans on the blue star, the world tree has always been in the hands of the strongest. Dynasties change, countries compete for hegemony, whoever has the biggest fist will have it. In modern times, after the whole world formed the Federation army, this world tree naturally came into the hands of the Federation. Nowadays, the Federation regularly cuts off some leaves from the World Tree every year and distributes them to Phylong Towers in various cities. From Phylong Tower, they are distributed to the local Skybreakers. 
In addition, these leaves, which contain core skill books, are also very different. It is said that the more leaves are picked from the top of the world tree, the higher the grade of the core skill book inside. However, even the world tree does not produce many leaves like this every year, so they are scarce throughout the blue star. Many smaller cities with weaker capabilities are simply not eligible for the allocation. Linyuan City, where Zhou Jun is located, is at the upper level among many cities in Blue Star, but it can apply for one such high-level leaf every year. But even if you apply, it has nothing to do with ordinary people. After all, the energy contained in a high-grade leaf is also limited. Only the wealthy families and prodigies in the city are qualified to enter the high-level leaves to find core skill books. Zhou Jun was naturally not qualified to touch high-grade leaves in his previous life. Just like thousands of ordinary people in Linyuan City, he applied first and then queued up. After spending more than half a month, he managed to find a gold-level core skill book from Ordinary Leaves. Now that I think about it, I feel quite sad. At this moment, when I heard Chu Tianj suddenly mention the core skills, I was confused about what he was going to do. I saw Chu Tianj pondering for a moment and said, Brother, in three days, that is, on the first of next month, this year's share of high-end leaves in Linyuan City will arrive, and a core skill book will be held at Phylong Tower. Receiving Ceremony I would like to invite you as the owner of Phylong Tower to participate in this ceremony. As Chu Tianj finished speaking, Zhou Jun couldn't help but tremble. He looked surprised, but he didn't expect that this year's high-grade leaves would be delivered so quickly. Originally, he was worried about where he would find the opportunity to comprehend advanced leaves after he reached level 18. But he didn't expect that his newly recognized cheap brother would take the initiative to mention this matter. If you really feel sleepy, give me a pillow. Zhou Jun also knew that he owed Chu Tianj a favor, but there was no way to avoid it. After all, choosing core skills is a matter of great importance. If he meditates on ordinary leaves, at most he will receive a gold-level skill book just like in his previous life. But among high-end leaves, the guarantees are all excellent. In addition, Zhou Jun possesses the great skill of infinite sublimation. Once he gets the opportunity to comprehend the advanced leaves, he will not be afraid of not having top-level core skills. Brother, the only difficulty with this matter is that the time for the ceremony is too tight. If you want to participate, you must reach level 18 within three days. However, Chu Tianj changed the topic and added a few words with some worry in his tone. The core skill book collection ceremony to be held on the first of next month is a long-established charter, and even if he is the owner of Phylong Tower, he cannot change it at will. According to federal regulations, if you want to receive the core skill book, you must reach LV18, and you are not allowed to receive it in advance. Therefore, if Zhou Jun wants to catch up with this ceremony, he must reach level 18 within three days, otherwise he will have to wait until next year. This condition is difficult. The further you go on the upgrade path, the more experience points you need. Upgrading from level 11 to level 18 is far more difficult than upgrading from level 3 to level 10. This is a huge challenge for anyone. So Chu Tianj was a little worried for a moment. After Zhou Jun heard this, he didn't take it seriously. He smiled slightly and said, Brother Chu, if you only reach level 18, I will still be confident. His tone was relaxed, and his energetic face was filled with indescribable strong faith. When Chu Tianj saw this, he looked a little dazed for a moment. Because he was so familiar with the feeling Zhou Jun had, it was an invincible power that could only exist in young geniuses. He had seen it in many people. With a faint sigh, Chu Tianj, who came back to his senses, hugged Zhou Jun and said, then I wish my brother a smooth trip and everything will go well in advance. In three days, I will be waiting for you at Phylong Tower. Ten minutes later, Zhou Jun walked out of Phylong Tower. When passing by the first floor, Zhou Tong, Morong Shui and others were no longer seen. They must have finished their work and left long ago. Zhou Jun didn't care about such trivial matters. He was rushing towards the nearest subway station. If you want to participate in the core skill book receiving ceremony three days later, you are still pressed for time. This has nothing to do with one's own strength. The only difference is that the experience value that monsters can provide is really limited. Zhou Jun can only kill as many as possible within the specified time. Therefore, 
he did not dare to waste any minute or second. I walked quickly to the subway station closest to Phylong Tower and bought a ticket to the north gate of Linyuan City. The city is very congested and it's not as fast as taking the subway. The reason why we went to the north gate was because there was a continuous mountain range nearby, which was dotted with various large and small beginner level dungeons. It is the most suitable place for novices below LV20 to level up. Zhou Jun had been hanging out in this area for a long time in his previous life, so he was familiar with all aspects. After entering the dungeon, you can sublimate the Shao Kong Dragon Egg. Sitting on the subway, Zhou Jun thought to himself. That dragon egg was extremely precious, and he had to find a secluded place with no one to take it out and sublimate it. To take it out in such a big way in the city would be tantamount to seeking death. After all, this is a treasure that even a hundred-level god king would be jealous of. Thinking like this, time flies by. Half an hour later, Zhou Jun's figure finally appeared on the mountain range north of Linyuan City. Although it is in the mountains, it is not as quiet as imagined. On the contrary, at a glance, there are many people standing scattered on each hillside, which is very lively. One of the three LV-5 level dungeons is missing. There is a master to lead the team. Come quickly. Do you have any brothers who want to form a team to go to the LV-10 dungeon? I have a B-level combat talent. I'm a level 6 newcomer. He's talented in the auxiliary system. He has a beautiful voice and a sweet voice. Please help me, brother. I have a regular team of skybreakers, and I am now recruiting experts above level 5515. If you are interested, come quickly. Quote dot 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 quote. Walking along the mountain path, Zhou Jun's eyes passed over these people who were working hard to shout, and he couldn't help feeling a little emotional. Once upon a time, he was one of this group of people with only D-level talent. He pulled Yi Changshan and stood bleakly in front of the dungeon door, waiting expectantly for someone willing to team up with them. But now that he is reborn and has great fighting power, there is no need to be so bitter anymore. Team members will share experience points, not to mention that Zhou Jun still has a mission to reach level 18 within three days. Even if he didn't, he would have planned to go solo. He kept walking towards the depths of the mountains, and a few minutes later, he appeared in front of a constantly rotating portal. Dungeon name, Valley of the Wind. Recommended level, LV15, LV20. The dungeon in front of you is the dungeon with the highest level of monsters in the entire Baiman Mountains, and it is also recognized as the most difficult dungeon. According to Zhou Jun's experience in his previous life, if you want to successfully conquer this dungeon, you must have at least a team of at least 10 people with B-level talents per capita to have a chance. The degree of danger can be imagined. It is also for this reason that Valley of the Wind has become the most unpopular dungeon in the Baiman Mountains. After all, the threshold for challenging is too high, and most novices have to form a team to even clear ordinary low-level dungeons, so how can they dare to get involved in such an existence? Of course, the difficulty of Valley of the Wind is only relative to others, and in Zhou Jun's eyes, it is nothing. He possesses two SSS-level talents, an epic-level equipment, and immortal-level skills. If he can't pass alone again, he might as well find a piece of tofu and kill him. At this time, I was standing in front of the dungeon door, and when I was about to enter, I suddenly found someone squatting next to me. The man kept smoking, and when he saw Mr. Joe, his eyes couldn't help but light up. He threw the cigarette butt on the ground and stomped it out. He rubbed his palms at Joe Jun and said, Brother, I am from number. One middle school. I have awakened my A-level talent. I am now level 17. From the look of you, you should be here to clear the valley of the wind. How about forming a team? This man looked eager. Although he didn't know Joe Jun's talent level, he subconsciously felt that if the other person dared to hang out in front of the Vale of Wind Valley, he should be quite capable. So I made an invitation to form a team. When Zhou Jun heard this, he didn't even hesitate for a second. He shook his head and said, I'm only level 11, so I may not be able to help you. After saying that, before the man in number one could react from his shock, he had already stepped into the constantly rotating portal. Warn. The current level is seriously behind the recommended level of the dungeon. May increase risk of death. Is entry forced? Enter. With a thought, Zhou Jun's figure disappeared directly. The man was left standing there stunned, completely confused. Where did this great god come from? 
One second he said he was only level 11, but the next second he entered the valley of the wind alone. Not even a moment of hesitation. Even if you want to reincarnate, you won't be in such a hurry. The students in number. One middle school were all dumbfounded and didn't know what Jojun was doing. After a moment, he shook his head and said regretfully, I thought I had found a master who could form a team, but it turned out to be a lunatic who came to commit suicide. Yes, in his eyes, Zhou Jun's behavior was no different from committing suicide. This is the valley of the wind. Not to mention level 11, even level 20 people, few dare to say that they can pass the level alone. After all, in the dangerous environment of the dungeon, single player and multiplayer players are completely different concepts. This man no longer had any hope that Zhou Jun could come out alive, and squatted back on the ground again, continuing to wait for the destined person. Comma. At the same time, in a canyon filled with yellow sand, Zhou Jun's figure appeared out of thin air. As soon as he landed, the mad dragon sky suit he was equipped with materialized, and his sportswear was instantly replaced by a cool-looking golden battle armor. His body sank slightly, and his feet sunk a little deeper into the ground. This was the weight-bearing effect of the heavy armor. But Zhou Jun didn't care. He moved his body casually, and after a brief adaptation, he set his sights ahead. In the yellow sand all over the sky, there were more than twenty ferocious-looking demon wolves, which were surrounding him and slowly approaching him. The leading wolf king exuded an aura of blood and violence. Name, Desert Blood Demon Wolf. HP, 44,000. Level, LV-19. Level, Leader Level. Skills, Bite of Mad Wolf, Three Blood Transformations, Wolf King Laser Cannon. Looking at the opponent's panel, Zhou Jun couldn't help but be a little surprised. He didn't expect that he would encounter a leader-level monster as soon as he entered the dungeon. You know, this is a peripheral area. No wonder people say that Valley of the Wind is the most difficult newbie dungeon in the North Gate area, and it truly deserves its reputation. But in the face of all this, Zhou Jun didn't have the slightest fear in his eyes, but was full of interest. Show your face, little darling. A cheerful smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, and he reached out with his right hand in the void, and a dark horizontal knife slowly appeared accompanied by jumping lightning arcs. Next moment, before the wolves could attack, Zhou Jun turned into an afterimage and took the initiative to rush into it. Brush, the sword flashed and wolf blood flew. Zhou Jun, who has more than 7,000 points of strength attribute, is like a humanoid Tyrannosaurus. Every sword strike is powerful and heavy. Whenever he swings it, a demon wolf will fall in a pool of blood. Experience value plus 207. Experience value plus 198. Experience value plus 211. A series of prompts appeared in front of my eyes like a swipe on the screen. Because Zhou Jun kills monsters at a higher level, coupled with the 25% additional experience gained from the Mad Dragon suit, the experience gained from killing an ordinary demonic wolf is directly equivalent to the Lord Boss in the Dark Forest. Cool yuppie. Before the wave of wolves was finished killing, Zhou Jun reached level 12. At this moment, the leader-level Wolf King was completely frightened. It looked at the human in front of it timidly, and its usually cruel and ruthless wolf eyes actually had the intention of running away. But how could Lord Zhou give it a chance? He directly bullied him and turned the thunderbolt in his hand into a beautiful sword flower, which passed over the Wolf King from bottom to top. Greed's Pick This sword is clearly one of the seven moves from the immortal level skill, Rhapsody of Conviction. 52,109 An eye-catching damage appeared, and the Desert Blood Demon Wolf's health bar was instantly cleared. The majestic leader level monster could not even withstand a single blow, and it did not even have a chance to release its secrets. He fell directly into the yellow sand. Kill the leader level monster Desert Blood Wolf. Experience value plus 531. Get loot x1. Three more prompts appeared in succession, but Zhou Jun did not even look at them. Instead, he continued to rush into the wolf pack until he slaughtered all the remaining demon wolves. A moment later, he was alone, holding a bloody long knife in his hand, standing on top of the wolf corpses on the ground, facing the fierce wind, and calmly looking at the loot that had just been revealed. This is a bottle of gold-level secret medicine. The effect is that after taking it, you can be immune to any control for a certain period of time. It was okay, so Zhou Jun threw it into his backpack. 
Then he found a relatively clean area and took out the Shao Kong dragon egg. Sublimation. Without any hesitation, he poured the secret medicine for recovery into his mouth and activated the power of sublimation. Boom. An unprecedented feeling of weakness came over him. This may be the first time since Zhou Jun awakened his second talent that the side effects were so obvious. He looked a little pale, but his eyes were full of hope. Because he can feel that the sublimation effect this time is extremely good. Congratulations! Your Skiroring Dragon Egg has been perfectly sublimated into Frost Feather Dragon Egg. Name Frost Feather Dragon Egg. Grade Immortal. Type Demon Pet. Growth Direction Dragon. Hatching Conditions 3 Drops of Blood Essence of a Demon Level Monster. Explanation The Overlord of the Sky, the Egg of the Demon Level Monster Frost Feather Dragon. The complete body can grow to level 600. It has the fastest speed in the world and powerful aerial combat skills. When you are in the ice land, your combat power will be doubled. Looking at the brand new dragon egg attributes in front of him, Zhou Jun was completely shocked. In the copy of Valley of the Wind, Zhou Jun stroked the huge dragon egg in front of him and looked up and down. The whole dragon egg is about 1 meter high, oval in shape, with a white shell covered with strange ice crystals, which is very beautiful. Frost Feather Dragon Zhou Jun whispered, the experiences of two lifetimes flashing crazily in his mind, and finally settled on the image of a snow-white dragon with a strange appearance, soaring in the sky. This was the news about Frost Feather Dragon that he accidentally saw on TV in his previous life. I still remember that at that time, it seemed that in the cold mountains stretching thousands of miles in the northern border of Daxia, the entrance to the dungeon where the Frost Feathered Dragon was located was broken, which led to the tragedy of monsters invading reality, causing a huge panic in the northern border. In order to quell this monster turmoil, the Federation dispatched hundreds of level 400 masters, hundreds of thousands of modern troops, and various ultra-high-tech weapons to attack in all directions. The entire battle lasted for nearly a month, and the Federation suffered heavy casualties. Hundreds of masters were wiped out, but the Frost Feather Dragon was still as powerful as ever, wreaking havoc in the northern lands. In the end, it was the god King Hoshin who sat above the starry sky who took action to suppress this demon level boss. This incident caused a great sensation in Blue Star at the time. It was the first time many people saw the power of a demon level monster. Among them, Zhou Jun was included. I didn't expect that the Frost Feather Dragon, which frightened countless people in the previous life, would actually become my pet in this life. Zhou Jun retracted the flood of thoughts and couldn't help but smile a little, feeling very satisfied with the result of this sublimation. Once the Frost Feather Dragon is successfully hatched, it will definitely accompany him for a long time in the future, and one day, it can even kill the stars with him. However, the condition for hatching this immortal level dragon egg is that it must be contaminated with three drops of the blood essence of a demon level monster. After being overjoyed, Zhou Jun carefully read the introduction of the dragon egg and frowned again. This incubation condition is really a bit exaggerated. After all, the frost feather dragon is only a demon level monster, but to hatch it, it actually requires three drops of blood essence from a monster of the same level. In terms of strength, Zhou Jun is not afraid of the so-called demon god level. Although the strongest monster he has defeated so far is only a stone statue, which was chopped down by the star falling sword. But he still had confidence that even if he encountered a monster far superior to the stone statue, he would still have the power to kill it. After all, although the demon god is the top predator among monsters, his dual SSS level talents are also among the best among humans. In this aspect, both parties are on the same level. In addition, Zhou Jun can also rely on skills and equipment to continuously increase his combat power. This is something that monsters don't have. The biggest difference between humans and beasts is that humans use tools, which has never changed since ancient times. Therefore, Zhou Jun never worries about his own strength. What he is really worried about is where to find the demon level boss. Generally speaking, Monsters with higher racial levels are born in high-level dungeons. For example, this Frost Feather Dragon is a super difficult dungeon that only exists at level 600. Normally speaking, it is impossible for monsters above the king level to appear in dungeons below level 100. Unless it is in some special designated copies and some hidden condition is triggered. Just like the last time in Mirkwood. 
It was obviously just an ordinary novice level secret realm, but a monster like a supreme stone statue was summoned by mistake. Even until now, Zhou Jun still doesn't know how they achieved the triggering conditions for hiding the boss. He just speculated that it might be related to the fact that they slaughtered all the monsters in the core area of the Dark Forest, or that there were SSS level talents in the team. In short, it is difficult to trigger hidden levels in dungeons or secret realms. Most of the time it just depends on luck. That's why Zhou Jun is so worried. Sora has the skill of slaying dragons, but there is no dragon to slay. We can only take one step at a time. Maybe there is blood essence of high-level monsters in the trading market. If you can't buy it, you can sublimate it yourself. Zhou Jun sighed. God-level monsters are hard to come by, but if he can have the essence and blood of a supreme-level monster, it will be a big deal for him. After all, he can still sublimate. The hatching arrangements for the frost-feathered dragon can only be put on hold for now. The most important thing right now is back to upgrading. Zhou Jun had just used the power of sublimation, and his face was quite pale, but there was no worry in his eyes. Because his current combat power is too high, even if he can only use half of his combat power, he is still invincible in this copy. What's more, with the ring of endless life around, his condition is recovering every minute. This weakness will soon be lifted. Pulling out the horizontal knife inserted into the wolf corpse, Zhou Jun took long strides and walked towards the depths of the copy in the fierce wind. Add points as you go. It has just been upgraded again, and the upper limit of attributes has been expanded again. After Zhou Jun turned into a ruthless point-adding machine and filled it up crazily, his four-dimensional attributes all jumped to an astonishing 7,500 points. The surging power surged through the body, diluting a lot of the feeling of weakness. The corners of Zhou Jun's eyes rose at first, but when he saw the level column clearly, he couldn't help but curl his lips. Name, Zhou Jun, level LV12, 3%. The amount of experience points required to level up has been increased. He had just killed the demonic wolf, but it had given him a lot of experience, but the result was only an increase of 3% of the total experience bar. Although Zhou Jun had experienced this in his previous life and was well prepared, he still sighed a little when he actually saw this scene. It is really difficult for the Heaven Defenders to go against the will of Heaven and become stronger. The further back you go, the more experience points you need. If Zhou Jun hadn't jumped through levels and killed monsters all the way, he wouldn't have been able to advance from level 11 to level 12 so quickly. And this way of taking shortcuts obviously cannot exist forever. Because as the level increases rapidly, the gap between him and the monsters in this copy will become smaller and smaller. The experience points gained from hunting monsters will also be reduced accordingly. There is no solution to this. The only thing that can be done is to kill as many as possible and make a river of blood flow. Zhou Jun even decided not to return to the city until he reached level 18. Right here in the wild, guard the copy and kill. Anyway, he has 7,500 points of energy, so much energy that he can never use it up, and he will be fine even if he doesn't sleep for several days and nights. Jirjirji. Just as he was planning, a black rat-like monster suddenly appeared in the corner of his vision. Zhou Jun kept walking, and when he passed by, he casually slashed his knife through the air, killing him instantly. Kill the monster LV-17 Yellow Sand Demon Rat. Experience value plus 135. Improvement flashed before his eyes, but his experience points were pitiful. If I continue at this rate, I will be able to level up at most once I clear the level. Would you like to go back to the city and get some demon attracting incense first? Zhou Jun frowned and looked at the experience value in his early 100s and couldn't help but make calculations in his mind. He recalled the scene in the secret realm where Wang Tong caused a tide of beasts. This secret medicine that can gather monsters is simply a mobile experience bank for a top powerhouse like him. It can reduce a lot of time looking for monsters. The only problem is that although secret medicines like devil-inducing incense are not expensive, they are banned in the Federation and are difficult to buy. Only the black market occasionally sells them. Zhou Jun did have access to the black market, but he was not sure that he would be able to find this secret medicine in the black market today. Coupled with the time it takes to go back and forth, it greatly affects the rhythm of his upgrade. This put Zhou Jun in a difficult position. Let's take it one step at a time. 
After clearing this dungeon first, maybe we can explode a bottle of demon-inducing incense directly from the monster. Sighing slightly, Zhou Jun stopped thinking about it and walked quickly. The outer area of the Valley of the Wind is not that big, and the wolf pack encountered when you first teleported in was probably the largest group of monsters in the outer area. Therefore, along the way, the monsters encountered became increasingly rare. An hour later, Zhou Jun, whose whole body condition had returned to its peak, finally stepped into the core area. This is a canyon surrounded by high cliffs. There are no plants or forks in the road. There is only a straight gravel road filled with howling wind and sand. Zhou Jun was startled, and then his eyes lit up. He finally understood why Valley of the Wind was dubbed the most difficult dungeon in the Baiman Mountains. Because the topography of this core area is too incomprehensible, tens of thousands of meters from beginning to end, only this road is the active area. This also means that all the monsters in the core area will encounter the skybreakers who come into challenge, and there is no way out for both sides. This kind of situation is undoubtedly extremely dangerous for ordinary sky-defying warriors. But for people like Zhou Jun, it is a rare paradise. Looks like I don't need to get the magic attracting incense, God has already gathered the monsters for me. Zhou Jun grinned directly from the corner of his mouth to the root of his ears, his eyes flashed with excited killing intent, and he held a horizontal knife in his hand, blocking the only entrance and exit of the canyon. Today, not even a single monster can escape. Amid the biting wind, the solemn figure stood proudly at the entrance of the canyon, holding a horizontal knife. It's quite a bit like one man is in charge, and ten thousand men can't stop him. As if sensing the breath of strangers, the monsters in the canyon began to faintly stir. A vulture closest to Zhou Jun, hovering above his head, was turning its cold-blooded pupils, constantly testing Zhou Jun. It felt the strong blood energy in Zhou Jun and knew that the human in front of it was not easy to mess with. But its bloodthirsty instinct made it unable to restrain its urge to swoop down. After a brief hesitation, animal nature finally defeated reason. Thunder and lightning flashed all over the hovering vulture, falling straight from the sky and attacking Zhou Jun. Zi la la. Before the attack could arrive, the overwhelming thunder landed first, as if the god of thunder was angry and powerful. 11. An inconspicuous damage figure emerged from Zhou Jun's body. Although the monster attack in front of him looked intimidating, due to the resistance of Zhou Jun's epic equipment, it did not cause much trouble at all. Zhou Jun only felt a slight numbness on his body. Not only did it not hurt, but he felt a little comfortable. Plus 259. A faint green light flashed across his body, and the healing effect of the Ring of Endless Life was activated, and Zhou Jun's blood volume instantly returned to full. The vulture monster's menacing blow not only did no damage, but even owed Zhou Jun 248 drops of blood. This made Zhou Jun, who was preparing for a fight, a bit stunned and speechless for a moment. At the same time, a long and sharp cry resounded through the canyon. The vulture seemed to finally understand how terrifying the human beings in front of it were, and it suddenly wanted to retreat. But how could Mr. Joe give it a chance? With a sneer, the horizontal sword in his hand flashed with thunder arcs, and his legs exerted force. Under the terrifying power, he jumped to a height of more than 10 meters, and directly slashed head-on, knocking the vulture out of the air. The Collapse of Rage The sword style representing the fury of the Seven Sins sect fell from the sky, carrying the power of destroying the heaven and the earth, and directly emptied the vulture's health bar. Kill the LV-20 boss level monster corrupted wind eagle. Experience value plus 316. Unexpectedly, this turned out to be a level 20 leader level monster, and it directly provided more than 300 experience points. Zhou Jun couldn't help but feel happy in his heart. It was indeed the core area, and the value of the monsters was far beyond those in the periphery. At this moment, he has tasted the benefits and is more motivated. Looking up at the Sandy Canyon Road in front of him, all the monsters along the way seemed to be transformed into walking experience packets in his eyes. The endless killing sword intention bloomed on him. Zhou Jun took a deep breath, and in the next second, an afterimage was drawn on the ground, and he ran quickly forward. Brush, cut it down with one knife. A thick yellow python in front of him died on the spot. Another more than 200 experience points were gained. Zhou Jun didn't even look at the giant python's body. 
he quickly kicked a rhinoceros monster that wanted to attack him dozens of meters away with his backhand. Its huge body was firmly embedded in a wall. Broken bones. Although Zhou Jun has mastered the immortal level sword skills, the defense-breaking effect of broken bones is still useful. In addition, his whole body's attributes are as high as 30,000. This kick can be said to be powerful and heavy. Even if the broken bone is only gold level, it can still exert an unparalleled effect. The body of the rhinoceros monster was embedded in the stone wall. After struggling for two times, it died immediately. At this moment, as Zhou Jun killed two fierce monsters in a row, the other monsters around him were also frightened. But they did not flinch. Instead, inspired by the blood, the animal nature in their bodies was infinitely amplified, becoming more and more ferocious, and attacked Lord Zhou one after another. If someone is in the sky, they will be surprised to find that in this not-so-wide canyon, there are countless monsters running towards Lord Zhou from the depths. The momentum was huge, not much worse than a beast tide. Especially looking from the back to the front, it is even more horrifying. I saw endless yellow sand filling the air, with countless monster shadows looming in it. Various beast roars resounded throughout the canyon, and the stones on the ground were beating constantly due to the galloping beasts. It's like the end is coming. This scene would make any novice skybreaker tremble with fear, completely lose the desire to resist, and just want to escape. However, faced with this horrific scene, Zhou Jun's stalwart body was motionless. He stood with a fierce sword, with only the desire and excitement for battle in his eyebrows. In his eyes, the endless monsters seemed no different from pieces of paper. Kill. With a sharp shout, Lord Zhou stepped forward with his sword. The seven deadly sins of lust, gluttony, greed, laziness, rage, jealousy, and arrogance were displayed one after another. Flash and blood flew everywhere where the sword passed. There was even a shadow of a golden dragon surrounding him. From time to time he opened his mouth to spit out terrifying dragon breath, and the raging fire burned everything in front of him. It can be said that at this moment, Lord Joe was like a god of murder, walking forward step by step against the tide of beasts rushing toward him. Everything he passed was completely silent, and no monster could block a sword. I have unparalleled power and can kill all the demons in the world. Zhou Jun went completely crazy and went crazy. The air was full of blood and demon corpses were everywhere he passed. The canyon, which is several meters long, was pushed across by Zhou Jun himself. He seemed to be tireless, constantly drawing and retracting the knife. I don't know how much time passed, but I only know that the sky was dark, and when I raised my head, my vision was completely filled with yellow sand. I couldn't tell the time, and couldn't see the sun and the moon. At this time, Zhou Jun was already standing at the deepest part of the canyon passage. He looked back, and there was no living thing on the long gravel road behind him, and there was not a single beast roar. Only monster corpses were left on the ground, scattered throughout the canyon. Lord Zhou completely bulldozed the core area of the Valley of the Wind. Except for the final boss, all monsters were killed with swords. His level of ferocity, even if it is a so-called novice to conquer the sky, even a veteran of level 20 or 30 will be trembling with fear. Kill the LV-19 Elite Monster Desert Wild Rhinoceros. Experience Value Plus 189. Kill the LV-20 Boss Level Monster Four-Horned Wind Ox. Experience Value Plus 334. Kill the LV-18 Leader Level Monster Flame Fang Dog. Experience Value Plus 241. Get Loot X1. Comma, comma. In the corner of his sight, dense kill prompts were beating constantly. Zhou Jun was too lazy to look at it, so he directly chose to block it, then summoned his personal panel and looked at the level bar. Level LV13, 7%. Upgraded again. The terrain advantage of the Valley of the Wind allowed Zhou Jun to take advantage of him, and his experience in upgrading far exceeded his expectations, leading to another level up. It was an unexpected surprise. Now that he was about to conquer the boss, Zhou Jun did not hesitate and directly topped up the attribute limit for further expansion. Each four-dimensional attribute also successfully reached 8,800 points. Terrible. He was only at level 13, but he already had attribute values that others would only achieve after they had worked hard to reach level 30 or 40. He was full of energy and blood, rarely seen in the world, and powerful power was surging crazily in his body. Sure enough, 
the redistribution of SSS classes becomes more and more unreasonable in the later stages. After all, when others practice cultivation, even if they train their bodies every day, they will one day reach their limits and encounter various bottlenecks, making it impossible to make any progress. But Zhou Jun can easily reach the upper limit of attribute values at every level. The result of this will be that one day, he will completely surpass all humans in the past and present, destroy the galaxy with the power of flesh and blood, and reach the gods with his body. This is an invincible road. The invincible road belongs only to Zhou Jun. He took a deep breath at this time, held back the power that had just surged in his body, and looked at the circular pit in front of him with a pair of sharp eyes. There, the dim yellow sand filled the air, and the shadow of a humanoid creature slowly walked out of it. It is tall and slender, wearing ancient Egyptian-style metal armor. It has a jackal head on its head, and its eyes are quite human when it moves. Notice, the challenger, Zhou Jun, arrived at the canyon abyss within three hours, meeting the triggering conditions of the hidden level, and the original final lord boss was replaced by the king level Anubis. Warn, the level of Anubis is significantly higher than that of the dungeon challenger, please be careful. As the majestic figure walked out of the yellow sand, two majestic warning sounds echoed throughout the valley. Yellow sand fills the air and the wind fills the valley. The armor on Zhou Jun's body was stained with the blood of monsters, and he stood proudly with a sword in one hand, like a peerless killing god. Not far in front of him, in the howling wind, that kind of human-like monster looked at him expressionlessly. Anubis, the legendary ancient Egyptian god possesses extremely powerful divine power and is known as the god of funerals and the lord of the underworld. Zhou Jun also did not expect that due to a strange combination of circumstances, the hidden boss would be summoned by chance. And perhaps because the Valley of the Wind is a relatively common dungeon and the rules are different from the secret realm, when the hidden level is triggered, the system specially gives a notice and even reminds him thoughtfully that the level gap between the two sides is too high. This made Zhou Jun a little curious, and he looked at the top of the other person's head. Name Anubis who fell from the altar. HP 215,000. Level 27. Class King. Explanation The legendary lord of the underworld lost his godhood for unknown reasons and wandered into the valley of the wind. However, despite this, his strength cannot be underestimated. Comma. When he saw the specific panel information clearly, Zhou Jun's eyes were filled with surprise. The so-called hidden boss Anubis in front of us has a level approaching 30 and a health volume as high as 210,000. This is just basic information, and as the opponent is a king-level monster, its own resistance, skills, and four-dimensional attributes are still unknown. However, with the warning from the stone statue, Zhou Jun will no longer despise humanoid monsters. With level 13 fighting against the level 27 king boss, this is destined to be a fierce battle. He held the long knife tightly, adjusted his breathing rhythm, and every muscle in his body trembled, pushing his combat power to its peak. Human, you are quite capable of summoning my true form. Give you a chance to commit suicide and die, and I will take your soul back to the underworld. At the same time, Anubis in the yellow sand, after sizing up Lord Zhou, started to speak strangely. Zhou Jun was not surprised when he heard this, because many high-level monsters have good intelligence and even the ability to talk to humans. After hearing what Anubis said, he just raised his eyebrows and showed a bit of sarcasm on his lips. It's just a puppy, but he still dares to speak so loudly. As soon as these words came out, it could be seen with the naked eye that Anubis' calm and arrogant expression instantly became extremely ugly. As a god with a human body but a jackal's head, what he hates most in his life is that others call him a dog. This is undoubtedly a serious insult. Human, you have touched my reverse scale, prepare to bear the wrath of the god of death from the underworld. But Anubis shouted angrily, and suddenly a dark brown scepter appeared in his hand, and he waved it suddenly in the wind and sand. The next moment, on the land covered with yellow sand, arms wrapped in white cloth belts suddenly stretched out. Then in a few breaths, dozens of humanoid monsters wrapped in white bandages crawled out of the ground, like zombies buried deep in the ground coming to life. Their limbs were extremely uncoordinated, and their bodies were covered in bandages. Only a pair of blood-red eyes were exposed, staring at Zhou Jun. Name, Morning Mummy. HP, 80,000. Level, 24. 
Description, a loyal soldier summoned by Anubis, the god of death in the underworld. The mummies seemed to have uncoordinated limbs, but they actually moved very fast, roaring and rushing towards Zhou Jun. This scene is extremely weird, and the stench of corruption fills the valley with the strong wind, adding a bit of terror, which would definitely be unbearable for ordinary people. But Zhou Jun came all the way through the mountains of corpses and the sea of blood, and his body had long been filled with the rich blood of the monster corpses. At this moment, his mood was as stable as Mount Tai, and he stepped forward and took the initiative to swing his long knife at the army of mummies in front of him. Zhou Jun's style of play has always been aggressive. He doesn't like being passive, let alone testing. As soon as you make a move, you must seize the opportunity, use all your strength, and completely suppress the opponent's momentum. This is his self-confidence as a supreme genius in his own invincible way. At this moment, the sword was shining with murderous intent. The sting of gluttony, greed's pick, jealousy tease, swing of arrogance. A series of immortal level sword moves were executed flexibly. Wherever it passed, no mummy could bear it, and its limbs flew everywhere. And Zhou Jun's extremely fast agility attribute made him look like a ghost in the army of mummies, and no attack could hit him. In a blink of an eye, he had already carved a bloody path. Human, how dare you bully me like this? Behind him, Anubis, who had been standing indifferently in the sandstorm, had an obvious change in his expression. There was anger in his eyes, and as he waved the scepter in his hand, a tornado made entirely of yellow sand appeared out of thin air behind him. It was so big, more than a hundred meters high, and its momentum was so strong that it could cover the sky and the earth. That terrifying tornado storm, carrying the aura of destruction to the heaven and earth, rushed towards Zhou Jun rapidly. Wherever it passes, sand and rocks fly, and everything collapses. Zhou Jun's face changed slightly. This was obviously a large AoE magic damage skill. It is worthy of being a king-level boss. Its combat power and many skills are beyond the comparison of ordinary monsters. But Zhou Jun is still not afraid. He has nearly 10,000 points of physical attributes and an epic suit of body protection. His own resistance is not weak. At this moment, he is no longer the novice who needed Wei Duor's cooperation to deceive secrets to even kill a small bloodthirsty crocodile. With his fighting power surging, he directly took the initiative to meet him and charged into the tornado. He was actually resisting with his body. This is not because Zhou Jun is overconfident, but because he knows very well that the SSS level is once again assigned as his only combat talent, and the extremely powerful body given to him is his greatest support. He is not only a warrior with strong attack power and high agility, but also a tank with thick health and high defense. 444 421, plus 258. As soon as he entered the tornado, Zhou Jun's health was visibly dropping, but he remained calm and used his sword quickly and steadily to kill all the remaining mummies around him. He knew very well that this large-scale AoE skill could not last long. With his physique, coupled with the recovery effect of Ring of Endless Life, he can completely withstand this wave of damage. Sure enough, just a few seconds later, the tornado that destroyed the world collapsed out of thin air. At this time, Zhou Jun also completely broke through the defense lines and was only 10 meters away from Anubis. The latter's proud wolf head finally showed a shocked look. It stared at Lord Zhou, waving the scepter in its hand and letting out a harsh wolf howl. Human, I am the god of death in charge of the underworld. How dare you offend our gods? Kneel down and atone, Anubis shouted violently, and with his feet as the center, a layer of red light waves suddenly spread, covering the entire valley. There is also an endless aura of death, filled with chaos. This is Anubis's best skill, Death Domain. It is a very rare spiritual attack. Ordinary sky-defying warriors will lose themselves and commit suicide just by standing in it. But Zhou Jun is different. He is a ruthless person with a mental attribute of up to 8,800 points. Anubis's mental attack has no effect on him at all. Puppy, you keep saying that you are the god of death. But do you know that the person I disrespect the most is God? Zhou Jun's face was as usual, his voice was cold, and he held a horizontal knife in his hand and walked forward while talking. When he was only five meters away from Anubis, a dazzling thunder blade suddenly exploded into the void on the opponent's frightened wolf's face. I have a knife that can bury gods. Rhapsody of conviction. As the bright sword light flashed, 
all the Seven Sins sect sword styles were displayed at this moment. Zhou Jun's figure was even divided into four, surrounding Anubis and attacking as fast as a meteor. His speed is extremely fast, his offensive attack is extremely strong, and each sword is packed with unrivaled strength. And the strange thing is that the messy and flying knife shadows actually have a bit of the elegance and charm of ancient European aristocrats. However, don't be deceived by this gorgeous sword move, because every time an attack lands, there will be horrific damage. Anubis roared, and the sharp wolf howl echoed, and mysterious patterns lit up on its skin, briefly increasing its defense. However, how can the power of immortal level skills be resisted by the skills of a mere king level monster? Although there is a difference of more than 10 levels between the two, Anubis's own resistance is not low. But it's still not enough. Rhapsody of Sin, the damage increased by 200% during the release period. This single characteristic is enough to crush all Anubis methods. Not to mention, during Zhou Jun's frequent attacks in this short period of time, the special effects of the Mad Dragon Soaring set were still being triggered continuously. The dragon's breath spurted out, burning with fire with every strike. The powerful burning effect blocked all recovery effects of Anubis. These kinds of offensives directly suppressed Anubis, the legendary god, until he was completely helpless. It raised its head high and roared angrily, but it had no effect. Light and shadow were flying, and the thunder was vibrating. After Zhou Jun finished his seven-fold sword move, the three clones disappeared. At this time, Anubis's health bar finally became blank amid the unwilling roar. Anubis fell to the altar after killing the LV-27 king-level monster. Experience value plus 2519. Loot X2. Congratulations. You have cleared the LV-20 copy of the Valley of the Wind, rating, SSS. Pass-through reward. Gain additional experience value plus 2225. A series of prompts appeared before my eyes. Zhou Jun punched Jing Lei Jia on the ground, holding the handle of the knife with one hand and panting. The violent rise and fall of his chest obviously showed that the energy consumed by him when he released the immortal skill for the first time was not small. After all, before this, he had been fighting for several hours without stopping, and even resisted a tornado blast from Anubis. Of course, these are all small things. His strong physique gave Zhou Jun an unparalleled recovery speed, and he was able to get back on his feet very quickly. Compared to his own fatigue, he was more surprised by the power of Rhapsody of Conviction. As an immortal level sword skill, Zhou Jun had thought that the actual combat effect would be very powerful, but when it was actually released, the unparalleled power still shocked him. A level 27 king level monster with good resistance and damage reduction was killed by him in an instant after surpassing more than 10 levels in a row. If this scene were spread, who would believe it? I am afraid that even the god kings above the stars could not do this when they were young. You know, not just anyone who obtains immortal skills can achieve such terrifying output effects as him. Zhou Jun killed Anubis instantly with one blow. In addition to his powerful immortal level skills, his own strong four-dimensional attributes also played a big factor. Because in this world, the upper limit of all skill damage is determined based on the basic four dimensions of the Skybreaker himself. The higher the four-dimensional attribute, the stronger the skill effect that can be exerted. Just like the same wooden sword, if a three-year-old child wields it, its power cannot be compared to that of an adult. The same goes for the Skybreaker. Four-dimensional attributes are the basis for releasing all skills. Otherwise, how could those top experts try their best to polish their foundation and improve the fourth dimension in their novice stage? Therefore, the SSS class is redistributed, which is really very strong. Taking a long breath at this moment, Zhou Jun stopped thinking about this and looked at the level. Anubis is indeed a king-level boss, and the rewards in terms of experience points are extremely generous, with a total of 2,519 points, which makes Zhou Jun feel very comfortable. The reward for clearing the hidden level is slightly inferior, but it still has 2,225 points. The combination of the two caused Zhou Jun's total experience to soar significantly, and he was not far away from reaching level 14. A bit of joy of harvest appeared on his face, and he looked at the trophy light ball again. Wei Duoer, the little lucky star, is not here, so he can only unbox it by himself. He put his palm into the light ball, 
touched it lightly, and saw a bottle of secret medicine and a skill book appear in his hand. Zhou Jun first looked at the former. It is a bottle of excellent secret medicine. Its effect is that after taking it, the three attributes of strength, spirit, and physique can be permanently increased by 500 points. To be honest, the effect of this secret medicine is quite good, because in Blue Star, anything that can permanently increase attribute points is extremely popular. But what is helpless is that Zhou Jun can't even use up the attribute points that are extremely precious in the eyes of others. The only purpose of this bottle of secret medicine is to throw it into the trading market and sell it for some money after returning to the city. Shaking his head, Zhou Jun casually threw it into the space backpack and looked at the skill book expectantly. Name, Realm of Hades. Grade, Myth. Type, Spell Skill Book. Effect, Releases a circle of field centered on itself and causes a strong mental attack. In addition, when in the field, all attributes are increased by 10%. Cooling 1000s. The moment he read the detailed description in the skill book, Zhou Jun was shocked. Finally got a good product for him. The quality is as high as myth, and it is also a rare magic skill book. After reading the skill introduction, Zhou Jun subconsciously thought of the red halo released by Anubis before his death. It must be that skill in this realm of the underworld. To be honest, Anubis did not cause any harm to Zhou Jun after he expanded this field because his mental power was too high and he was directly immune to the impact. But this does not prevent the realm of the underworld from being a powerful skill. A large range of spell attacks, and also has a certain buff effect, no matter where it is placed, it is an eye-catching presence. Zhou Jun also sublimated it on the spot without saying a word. The familiar feeling of weakness came over me, but it was not as severe as when I sublimated the dragon egg before. In front of him, a delicate book made of sheepskin was floating quietly. Name, Divine Forbidden Realm. Grade, Epic. Type, Spell Skill Book. Effect, Releases a circle of absolute field centered on itself, and causes two consecutive strong mental attacks. In addition, when in the field, all attributes are increased by 30%. Cooling, 370s. A new effect is displayed in front of you, which is similar to the previous effect of the realm of the underworld, except that the various values have been greatly improved and the cooling has also been reduced. Zhou Jun nodded with satisfaction and decided to study. Soon, a new epic skill was added to his personal panel. After stretching, the satisfied Zhou Jun finally chose to leave the dungeon. Comma. And at this moment, the sky outside has darkened. In front of the Valley of the Wind dungeon, there was a figure squatting there, holding a slowly burning cigarette in his mouth, and his feet were covered with cigarette butts. After waiting for a day, is there really no one coming to clean the valley of the wind? The man blew out a smoke ring and cursed. After taking another look at the bright moon hanging high in the sky, I finally decided not to wait any longer. But just when he made up his mind to leave, bursts of energy fluctuation suddenly occurred at the entrance to the copy behind him. He was attracted by this sight and looked over in surprise. Then he saw, in the dark and mysterious whirlpool, a figure covered in blood, exuding the smell of blood, walking out of it like a demon god. Yu Yu, after the man saw the figure clearly, he was stunned on the spot. The cigarette in his mouth fell to the ground without even noticing. His mouth opened as if he had seen the most unforgettable scene in his life. Ha, huh, you haven't left yet. Zhou Jun came out of the copy and bumped into the man who had previously claimed to be a student from number. One middle school. He was also surprised. What time is it? Isn't this person going home for dinner? However, in the face of Zhou Jun's question, which was so plain as if talking about family matters, the students of number. One middle school couldn't calm down at all. Brother. No. Brother. Great God. How on earth did you come out alive? His eyes were widened his lips were trembling, and he couldn't speak clearly. You will come out naturally after you pass the level. Zhou Jun looked at him like a fool. As soon as these words were spoken, the brains of the students in the number. One middle school immediately shut down. If he remembered correctly, a few hours ago, the person in front of him seemed to have entered the valley of the wind alone. Now tell me, did you pass the level? Completed the most difficult dungeon in the Baiman Mountains alone. Is that human being? A middle school student couldn't calm down and stood in the wind constantly doubting his life. 
At this time, Zhou Zhan ignored him and stood in front of the whirlpool with his hands behind his hands, silently waiting for the copy to cool down. The copy does not have unlimited access. Generally speaking, a normal copy will be refreshed within two to three hours after clearing the level. Valley of the Wind is the dungeon that provides the most experience points in the North Gate Mountains. In order to upgrade, Zhou Jun plans to refresh the Valley of the Wind twice tonight. Not surprisingly, I will be obsessed with this copy for the next two days. At the same time, the middle school student, who had finally calmed down a little from the shock in his heart, seemed to have guessed Zhou Jun's intentions after seeing his actions, and was immediately surprised and said, Master, you are not planning to clear the Valley of the Wind again, are you? Quote. Is there a problem? Zhou Jun was confused. The middle school student was stunned after hearing this, and then said with a wry smile. Great God, with your strength, why bother trying to steal the Valley of the Wind from us? It would be better to go directly to the 10th Game Reserve. The 10th Game Reserve. Zhou Jun blinked, but this time he was stunned. The 10th Game Reserve, what is that? Zhou Jun had some confusion on his face and asked aloud. No, master, you are such a fierce person, but you don't know about the 10th Game Reserve. The students from the number. One middle school seemed more surprised than Zhou Jun. But after a moment, he seemed to have figured something out, and said with some regret, Master, I thought you were so fierce because you were a child of a big family, because this hunting reserve is the exclusive hunting ground for noble geniuses. Ordinary people have never heard of the name of the game reserve. Zhou Jun frowned. From the words of the middle school student in front of me, it is not difficult to tell that the so-called hunting reserve seems to be a completely forbidden existence for ordinary people to understand. At least Zhou Jun has never heard of it. Although the Zhou family he came from is also one of the top wealthy families in Linyuan City, he has never returned to that cold family since he left the Zhou family many years ago. There is naturally no way to know a lot of secret information that only the rich and powerful know. In his previous life, he struggled all the way. Although he reached level 54, compared to the huge federation, he was still at the bottom of the pyramid. So I really don't know anything about this game reserve. Tell me carefully. Zhou Jun clasped his hands behind his back and felt that the student in front of him was quite talkative, so he took the initiative to ask. Okay, the students from the number. One middle school really started talking like chatterboxes. Master, you don't know that this hunting reserve is quite big. It's a plan put forward by the federal senior officials last year to target the rapid growth of young geniuses. The general content is that in some of the wild mountains on Blue Star, an area is circled and various lord-level BOSSs are specially raised there to be hunted by human geniuses in order to achieve rapid upgrades. Because this matter is too shocking, and because most geniuses come from wealthy families, this news is extremely secret and cannot be accessed by ordinary people. Listening to the middle school student's excited description, Zhou Jun's heart also surged. Raising Lord Level Boss, what a shocking feat. You should know that the Lord Level Boss can only be refreshed in the dungeon. If you want to bring it into reality, you must either have special props or wait for the entrance to the dungeon to be broken, causing the monsters in the dungeon to actively invade reality. No matter which one of these two methods, it depends on the right time, place and people. Unless, the Federation has mastered some method to mass-produce Lord Boss. No wonder, no wonder I didn't see those powerful disciples from Linyuan City in the Baiman Mountains. Zhou Jun touched his chin and already had a certain understanding of the game reserve. But after thinking about it, he suddenly said in surprise, then this should be called a hunting area. Why is it called a protected area? After hearing this, the students from the number. One middle school gave a bitter smile. That's because the forbidden words in this game reserve are for ordinary people like us. Just look at the unwillingness on his face and a bit of bitterness, in the hunting reserve, all the monsters are Lord Boss level existences, and they are extremely dangerous. The reason why the Federation only opens it to the children of big families is because the number of BOSSs kept in the hunting reserve is also limited, and it cannot afford everyone to level up. The second point is because the probability of a genius appearing in a big family is higher. So there is no point in telling ordinary people this kind of news. Even if someone accidentally discovers the existence of the hunting reserve, they will be prohibited from entering. Even some disciples who are from big families but have not awakened good talents are not qualified. Just like me, 
I come from the Liu family, which can be considered a second-rate family, but my talent is only A-level, so there is no way I can get involved in the game reserve. The student in this middle school unknowingly lit another cigarette, feeling a little melancholy. After hearing this, Zhou Jun finally had an understanding of this hunting reserve. After a pause, he asked again, What's your name? The middle school student didn't care and answered frankly, Master, my name is Lu Badu. Lu Badu. Zhou Jun was startled, What the hell is this name? Just as he was about to ask, the talkative Lu Basho took the initiative to explain, I am a cautious person by nature, and I like to leave several escape routes for myself in everything. My dad originally named me Lu Yisho, but later he found that Yisho was not worthy of me at all, so he changed my name to H Sho. Having said this, Lu Bashu's face was inexplicably more confident, and he chuckled, for example, when I come to the Valley of the Wind this time, I will prepare at least 10 escape routes. I have prepared 20 or 30 kinds of secret medicines and props. Among them is a rare, forced dungeon exit token, which guarantees that even if I can't beat the dungeon or encounter unexpected dangers in the dungeon, I can still survive, retreat. Otherwise, how could I dare to wander in front of the Valley of the Wind? Listening to Lu Bashu's smug words, Zhou Jun fell into silence. The man in front of me. Call him a coward, he still dares to come to the Valley of the Wind. You could say he was brave, but he also prepared a lot of means to escape at any time. He didn't have the courage to move forward like other geniuses. It's quite contradictory anyway, but it is undeniable that this peculiar and talkative Lu Basho really left a deep impression on Zhou Jun. At this moment, he looked up at the sky and asked his final question. L. Why is it the 10th game reserve? Where is it located? Lu Basho threw the cigarette butt on the ground and stamped it out, saying, this is divided according to strength levels, and the 10th hunting reserve is the most suitable for us novices. I heard that the highest level of the monsters inside will not exceed LV30. As for the location, speaking of this, Lu Basho paused slightly, seeming to be recalling. After a moment, he said, I remember that number 98 is not far from here, in, this place. He took out an electronic map from his space backpack and marked it for Zhou Jun. The 10th game reserve does not mean that there are only 10 game reserves. This is only a ranking based on the level of the Lord Boss. On the contrary, the 10th game reserve exists in many places on Blue Star because it is suitable for novices. Among them, there are 18 in the southern border of Daxia, and the one closest to Linyuan City is the one numbered 98. According to the location given by Lu Badu, location 98 is in a deep mountain between Linyuan, Jinling and Luoxu. The geniuses from the three nearby cities will come here to practice. Master, do you want to go to the 10th game reserve? Lu Basho guessed a lot when he saw Zhou Jun asking so carefully. Zhou Jun looked at the not-so-distant location on the map and nodded without concealing it. He did have the idea of going to the 10th game reserve. A hunting area full of Lord Boss is really too attractive. Instead of just waiting for the Valley of Winds to refresh, it is better to go to the 10th game reserve to see if there is a chance to get a share of the pie. As for the so-called rule that it was only open to noble children, he didn't take it to heart. After all, rules are dead and people are alive. The specific situation will not be clear until we go there. Moreover, what Lu Basho said for a long time was just hearsay. He himself had never been to the game reserve. It was for these reasons that Zhou Jun became completely interested. Anyway, the game reserve is not far from here, so it's not a bad idea to give it a try. After thanking Lu Badu, Zhou Jun turned around and walked out of the mountains. Lu Basho, on the other hand, stood there blankly watching the heroic figure gradually go away, with mixed feelings in his heart, including envy and sigh, and he left the Baiman Mountains after a long while. Comma. A few hours later, it was already getting dark. Zhou Jun, who was constantly rushing in the mountains and forests, unexpectedly reached level 14. This is because when he was on the road, he encountered several monsters of more than 20 levels. Yes, the monster is not necessarily in the dungeon. In fact, due to various reasons, it is not uncommon for ordinary monsters to invade reality in Blue Star. However, they are usually hidden in deep mountains and old forests, and never come close to human cities. Unless it is a super-powerful boss-level monster above level 100, it will have obvious intention to attack human territory. 
After Zhou Jun filled up the upgraded attribute limit, each data reached 10,200. The fourth dimension finally exceeded 10,000. The total attribute points of the whole body are as high as more than 40,000. At this moment, Zhou Jun's aura became more majestic and profound, even returning to his original nature. No one would have thought that under this seemingly ordinary appearance, there was actually an extremely terrifying power hidden under it. A long white streak came out of his mouth, and Zhou Jun stopped in his tracks. Because the mountain forest in front of him was very different. Halfway up the mountain, there was a high power grid surrounding it. Looking along these power grids, in a certain wide area, there were two fortresses equipped with high-tech weapons, and a heavy steel door. Looking further ahead, there are rows of heavily armed federal soldiers, patrolling alternately. The Tenth Game Reserve. Zhou Jun's eyes lit up and he knew he was in the right place. At the moment, he also stepped towards the door. As he got closer, he was surprised to find that besides him, there were several people who looked like students in front of the entrance of the Tenth Game Reserve. They are all girls, wearing expensive-looking equipment, and the makeup on their faces is also very delicate, making them look very noble. What's even more surprising is that one of the many girls is actually an old acquaintance of his. Morong family, Morong Shui. Jun Zhou, Morong Shui in the crowd also noticed the young man walking slowly down the hillside. His pretty face was slightly startled, and he said the first words between the two of them in so many years. As soon as she said these words, she also attracted the attention of the other two girls beside her, and they all turned their beautiful eyes to look at Zhou Jun. Ha, huh, where did this handsome young man come from? He actually knows our Shui. One of them, a tall woman with wavy hair and a hint of coquettishness between her eyebrows, asked with a smile. Although Zhou Jun looks ordinary, but that refers to his dress, but his appearance is actually not bad, and his facial features are very three-dimensional. Following the tall woman's teasing, Zhou Jun, who had already walked to the gate, also glanced at the three girls one by one. In addition to Morong Shui, he also knew this tall woman. In their previous life, the two of them had briefly formed a team in a dungeon due to some coincidence. Zhou Jun also had a general understanding of this woman. She was the only daughter of Linyuan City Skyline Hotel, named Lang Xiaoxiao. The Lang family who controls the Skyline Hotel has assets worth billions and is a standard wealthy businessman. As an only daughter, Lang Xiaoxiao has always been very popular and very popular among the second generation circles in Linyuan City. Among these three girls, she is obviously the eldest sister. When she heard Lang Xiaoxiao's teasing, Morong Shui looked a little unnatural and said, Sister Xiaoxiao, he is Mr. Zhou of the Zhou family. Jun Zhou, Lang Xiaoxiao was startled, and then looked at Zhou Jun in surprise. Is this the boy Shui or liked? As a sister in the same circle as Morong Shui, she naturally knew that her best friend had a crush on Bai Yugong when she was young. He is the once famous young master of the Zhou family, Mr. Zhou. But later I heard that something happened to the Zhou family, causing Mr. Zhou to fall from the altar and gradually disappear. I didn't expect that I would meet him by chance here today. So you are the last young master of the Zhou family, and you don't look too good at all. Just as Lang Xiaoxiao was secretly sizing up Zhou Jun in her heart, the last girl among the three people spoke frankly what was in her heart. She is not tall, but her appearance is very delicate. She does not have any embodied armor and equipment. Instead, she is wearing a high-end, customized white dress. The jewelry she wears are all from world-famous brands, and she looks like a princess from a wealthy family. And from her coquettish and willful tone of voice, it is not difficult to guess that she should be very favored at home. The Zhou family may be really in trouble. I don't like that guy Zhou Wang, let alone you. She shook her head and looked at Zhou Jun with undisguised contempt. She originally thought that there must be something extraordinary about the person that Morong Shui once thought about. As a result, when I met him today, I found that Mr. Zhou was wearing ordinary clothes, not to mention street stall goods, and his brows did not have the aura that those geniuses should have, as if he could not make waves even if he was thrown into the crowd. This was far different from any young genius she had seen and heard since childhood, and she couldn't help but feel disappointed. In addition, as the jewel in the eye of the top wealthy Wang family, she possesses a rare and extremely talented SS-level talent. She grew up with praise and admiration, and developed an extremely conceited character. 
She will not let common people like Zhou Jun go. In the eyes. But such an attitude made Leng Xiaoxiao on the side feel a little embarrassed. As a child from a businessman's family, Leng Xiaoxiao has learned to watch people's emotions since she was a child. She doesn't have to be all rounded in doing things, but she can still speak at least in a scene. Dang she even gently tugged at the corner of the pretty girl's clothes and whispered, You, you, please stop saying a few words. Cut. Wang Manting curled her lips, a little disapproving, but in the end she gave Lang Xiaoxiao face and did not continue to speak. A pair of eyes looked away, no longer paying attention to the movement here. I'm sorry, that's just the way Man Ting is. Lang Xiaoxiao smiled apologetically at Zhou Jun. Fine, Zhou Jun responded casually. He didn't care in his heart. He had been a man for three generations, and his mentality could not be as impetuous as that of a young boy. Not to mention Wang Manting, even Lang Xiaoxiao, who pretends to be mature, is still a child in his eyes. At this moment, he finally looked at Morong Shui. Haven't seen you for a long time. He nodded slightly as a greeting. Even if I see the girl's pretty face again, I still don't have any emotional fluctuations in my heart. The past of the past life is like a floating cloud, and the good feelings I had when I was young have long been worn away by the years. In this life, he has great ambitions and is destined to set foot in the starry sky. In comparison, this Morong Shui was even more insignificant in his eyes. However, Zhou Jun felt relaxed, but Morong Shui didn't think so. Facing the person she had truly admired a few years ago, and now having a conversation with her again, she felt mixed emotions in her heart. In his mind, he couldn't help but think of Zhou Jun's confident and strong appearance in Phylong Tower two days ago. Although I realized afterwards, it was just relying on the external force brought by connections and had nothing to do with my own strength. But there is still a bit of compassion in my heart. She gritted her teeth and said after a long silence, you shouldn't be here. I don't know where you got the news about the 10th game reserve, but this place is too dangerous for you to break into with a D-level talent. Your only support is Deacon Shu from Phylong Tower. But this is a game reserve, how can Deacon Shu help you? Morong Shui's eyes were serious at this moment, looking at Zhou Jun and speaking loudly. The hunting reserve is an overall plan set up by the Federation to cultivate young geniuses. At each level of the hunting reserve, only people of the corresponding level are allowed to enter. It is absolutely impossible to rely on external help from family elders. After all, leveling up is all about practicing calligraphy. What the Federation wants is a true genius who has emerged from the experience of blood and fire. Instead of relying on others to bring upgraded. Therefore, in Morong Shui's eyes, Zhou Jun's appearance was very unreasonable, more like he was seeking death without knowing what the heavens and the earth were. D level, with this talent, you dare to come to the 10th game reserve. Oh, I see, you came here just to chase Shui, eh? right? Then I advise you to save it. I think when chasing Shuair, you must also look at your own worth. Although Wang Manting said she would no longer look here, when she heard this, she still couldn't help but interject. His words were full of contempt, and he seemed to despise Zhou Jun's behavior. Obviously, she misunderstood something. Morong Shui was startled when she heard Wang Manting's words, but she didn't say anything after all. Lang Xiaoxiao was watching the show from the side. And at this time, after listening to these words, Zhou Jun finally said, I have no intention of chasing anyone. I am just here to upgrade. Upgrade, that's nice to say, you have a D-level talent, how do you upgrade? There are all Lord-level BOSSs, which one can you defeat? Wang Manting continued to sneer. Even Morong Shui's beautiful eyebrows furrowed deeply after hearing these words. Mr. Zhou, just try to save some face for each other, okay? Stop talking nonsense, just go down the mountain and leave. We will pretend we have never met today. Her cold face was slightly raised, and her voice returned to a bit of indifference, as if she was very displeased with people who lied. But how could Zhou Jun care about her thoughts? Suddenly he sneered and said, Morong Shui, you are too self-righteous. Zhou Jun suddenly transformed, exuding a far more majestic aura than when he was the young master of the Zhou family. The world misjudged me, Mr. Zhou, yesterday. They misjudged me again today. Maybe they will misjudge me again tomorrow. But so what? I'm still me. The sound was not loud but it seemed to be deafening. 
a fierce aura that only belonged to the supreme genius swept across all directions. Without even looking at Morong Shui, he turned around and walked towards the gate of the game reserve. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.